going on there. Uh, all our talkback has gone completely crazy then. Uh, I can hear nothing, so I'll just carry on chattering. But um, did you sleep last night? I didn't. I didn't sleep at all last night. Then it got to half past two and it started to cool down. I thought, well, at least I can get some sleep now. An hour later, there was a dog barking at the back. And then suddenly um, I had to get up. I had to get up and come to work. Right, um, uh, so we've got such an exciting day today. Shall we have a look at Le Menu? Here's Le Menu for today. Now, eight and nine o'clock, girl with a sewing machine. Uh, I've got, at 10 o'clock, I've got embroidery tools. And then at 11 o'clock, I've got contemporary notions hour. Now, at the, staying with you there, at um, 10 o'clock, the embroidery tools, uh, that's a whole hour of me doing uh, embroidery, gorgeous embroidery pieces and everything. Not just tools, it's like little kits and everything like that. And then, and then, and then at 11 o'clock, uh, we've got the contemporary notions hour, which is where I've got everything really to put it, put in your um, in your room, in your sew boxes. Um, now we want you to get in touch. <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, and sorry about that little bit of a technical issue there, but it's all sorted now. Um, if you want to get in touch, it's very very easy. All you have to do is go to the website www.sewingquarter. Uh, dot com, and then you press on watch, then look at watch today's show, <coughs> excuse me, you'll now see that uh, menu for a long time because I had to sort out, I, I'll just explain to Tom, I don't know what it was, it was like really, really loud and echoey, was it the same upstairs? No? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so, so what you do is, see the box underneath, the message the studio, message studio, what you do is you write your message in there, there you go, that's from producer Hannah. Good morning, she's saying to everybody. Uh, keep your letters to, uh, keep your uh, letters, keep your characters to um, a minimum if you can, because Tom is sorting it out now, because you've only got a limited amount of characters on there. Uh, if you've got a long message you want to send us, you can do it by email, which is studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Uh, and oh, if that doesn't work, we'll get in, we'll get in touch with Tomo. Uh, now, if you just scroll back up the screen, Go up the screen, there you go. You see, now, that was that Tilda Spring Diaries material kit. That was obviously something that Natasha had yesterday. Um, as we're doing uh, sales, that as they're live, they will, be, they will be shown there. And you just click on it and add it to your basket. Make sure you check out your basket though, especially when I'm telling you that um, stocks are limited because I don't want you to miss out. Also, if, you've just, if you join us a little bit later, you can scroll down the page and you can see now there'll be nothing there because we haven't shown you anything yet. There are all the products from today's show. Um, and, and you can just click on them and pop them in your basket there. We only do one post of packaging for the whole day. So that means you can check out as many times as you like. Right, this is what it's all about. The first time you've seen this on television. And they've all been signed. Jennifer has signed them all. She's going to be doing, she's going to be doing a, uh, a UK tour, isn't she? She's going to be doing a UK tour where she goes signing the books. But this will be the first chance for you to get this book signed by the author herself, Jennifer Taylor. Girl with a sewing machine. It's a fabulous book. Now, check out the, check out the dress, right? Guess what Jennifer's wearing today? She's only got that dress, and it's lovely. It's a really beautiful jumbo needle cord. Anyway, let's go, let's get on, because we've got to talk about the book, haven't we? Yeah. Well, are you excited? Mwah. We're excited. I'm so excited. You said author, and I did like a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's here. Uh, is it, how, how, how long ago? On. When did you start? Um, it was sort of summer last year, so it's been quite a quick turnaround, really. But, um, yeah, I can't believe it's here. I know, it's, it's, it's exciting. It's here for you and it's signed, I can't, it's so exciting. Right, just tell them the story about the signing of the books. <laughs> so, um, the uh, sewing court was like, oh, do you think you could sign the books? So I was like, I'd love to sign the books. So I went to the, uh, the warehouse, our lovely warehouse, in the dips, uh, dips and darks, in the dips? In the dips and darks of Redditch. Um, and uh, all the books were packed in plastic. And I was like, oh no, and I had to open them all up. I felt so bad. And I then just sign them. And sign them, and then, he, and then this poor guy, his name is Adrian, we're having to like restuff them again. Oh. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh no, I'm it's so exciting, it's exciting. Thank you, thank you. Uh, people already put them in their baskets. Make I'm sure like, you wow. check out, make sure you check out. Now, what should we do first? Do you want to talk about yes. the book itself? I think so. I mean, for me, this is my what journey in a yes. book really um, and and that's what kind of inspired me to to write the book so i ended up talking to search press which are, are my publishers and uh, i was telling them about what i'd been doing and how i got into what i did so as you probably already know that it started with my wedding dress and then a year well not even a year later i was on the sewing bee and then it's just gone from 
strength to strength. And it's because of you guys who so in contact me that go, you've inspired me to do what I do. You made me want to pick up a needle and thread again, Jenny, and, and you're really inspiring. And I'm like, I've got to do something with that. Yes. And that's my process of learning, because I'm, I'm completely self-taught. So I got married in 2012. So that's the timeline for you. That's how long I've been sewing. Um, and, and how did I get so that no good? So no sewing before the wedding dress? You don't know no sewing at all? No, I mean, we did like, like you did. It's, it's very rare to get it in school these days, yeah, exactly, isn't it? But yeah. we did have a little <clears> bit of school um, sewing and, you know, bits and bobs. But as far as proper sewing, making garments, using a sewing machine, the first time I did that was in 2012. Yeah. And how I learned to sew was through, you know, making the wedding dress, but then being on the bee, upcycling, cutting fabric up, making clothes from scratch with no pattern. That's how I learned. Oh, wow. To, to Which make... is the difficult way around doing it, isn't it? Almost, yeah. Uh, congratulations on your oh, new book, Jenny, from you. Anne in Cheshire. Thank you, Anne. <coughs> so, uh, so, so <coughs> how did, I know you went to search something like that, but yeah. then how did you decide what you're going to put in it? Well, this is the thing, when they were talking, they were talking to me about the book and they were going, you should do, oh my God, that's really inspiring, Jen, you should do a book. And I'm like, no. So this is me, again, typically me going, no, no, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough. And then I thought about it more and I was like, you know what? I really do, because as you know, John, I'm passionate about getting the nation yes. sewing, and that's why I'm here on, on the sewing quarter. And this is just another way of doing that. So th this is for people who can't come to my workshops, but still want to do what I do and, and, and have an insight on how I learned. And this is it. So these are clothes with no pattern. I've got a signed one. Sign I've got a signed one. <laughs> so so there's, exciting. But, but, but the, all the instructions. Now, this I've been joking about this for a few months because <laughs> when I first saw the book, every model, you'll recognise every model in the book. You will recognise every model. Very well modelled, no novel. From, I think she's from Storm Management, oh, you know what okay. I mean? Hot off the catwalks. But so every single project, so, so it's all about your same journey yeah. and things like that. <clears throat> Picture of your work, creamy sewing kit, and everything. Like that. Oh, it's a shame that your she shed wasn't your sewing shed wasn't ready. Wasn't around in time. Have to be in no, book, have to be in book, book two, number two. Book number two, sewing from the shed. So all the, all the information you need then about getting started, yeah, um, and all the information you need to think about. Just little techniques and everything like that. Making a pin cushion because you have to start. Off. I mean, look at these brilliant close up. Of, you know, just just to tie the knot, just simple well, well, things. What I've tried to do with the book is is literally what you would do to get started. So for me, every sewing room needs a pincushion. So yes. the, that was the obvious thing to start with. But I know it's just a pincushion and you've probably already got one at home. But in that tutorial, I'm telling you how to do things. So things like um, a tacking stitch or a back well, stitch. Well, it's transferable or, or, skills, yeah, isn't it? Or how to, knot, um, how to knot a thread or how to do an, um, a ladder stitch. And it's basically through the project. So in, our, in reality, I know we just go diving in and make what we want yes. out of the book. But in theory, how I've wrote it is if you if you did the patterns as per you go through one, two, three, four, your skills are gaining more and more as you oh, go. Oh, see, so the projects at the back of the book might be slightly get, difficult get or difficult. Get more complicated as you go through. So it's about taking each step with me yeah. and, and through the clothes that I wear. The reason why I'm modelling it, John, because I said, oh, should we get a model? I was like... Well, no, because I feel like a bit of a copper. I can't be a, an advocate for making your own clothes and not and wear them. them. Yes, exactly. So, but someone else. Now, you mentioned earlier about up, up, <coughs> upcycling. upcycling. Yeah. Is this really a scarf, then? That's just a scarf, yeah. Now, now the thing, the joy about your um, designs here, that is obviously a scarf that you had or you bought in a charity shop or something like that, but you could also buy fabrics to make Absolutely. them with, couldn't you? It's not just a scarf, it's the and shape I, And again, I'm glad you said that, because in, in the book, I, I do say that if, um, if you haven't found the scarf where you've got the perfect fabric, in mind this is how what you need to do yes, with that fabric yeah. to achieve the because same because not look. everybody it, I, I don't you see this is what <laughs> sometimes you get a book and it's like all about upcycling everything you go yeah that looks beautiful but I haven't got that yeah, scarf yeah, whereas if you explain that you can also make it out of your favorite fabrics fabric, and everything absolutely. like that but again attention to detail Thank so you. many I mean look Brilliant, brilliant photographs, fantastic photographs. And then all the, um, uh, all the really, really, like this is jumper, mittens and snood. I mean, it's just the, uh, everything you need. As you say, you start off with the more simple projects. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've got so many messages, they're all going to start oh, coming through wow, in a second. Um, festival, oh, now Festival Patch, we're making that in yeah. this first show, aren't we? So we, another, we. <laughs> we will, we'll do it together. The thing about, uh, again, going about the projects, you mentioned the festival, but each project has something in mind. And again, it's, it's more of a memory, a sewing memory for me. So the festival pouch is actually inspired by my honeymoon. So oh, I, I okay. went to Morocco and as you know, you know, it, it, in, the, the in the souks and the markets, it's a mental place. And 
you know, things get snatched. Whereas this, it, it's a great one. You attach it to a belt. Yes. So it's hands-free, so you can boogie the dark night away if you're at a festival, or it's attached or if to shopping, you if you're, if you're out shopping. If, like, because th 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 I know I, I filmed a lot in, in Morocco and places like that. The yeah. soups are very busy and there's people tight. bustling. And, yeah, and, yeah. and if you've got something in your pocket, if you've got something in your bag... And, and you want your hands free to be able to, to look as well, whereas exactly. this, it's there, it's attached to you. So, so that, that's the inspiration uh, for that well, project. Guys, well, we will show you some more detail in a minute, mm -hmm. but I also love on the back that you've got a zip detailing on the back as well. Yeah, yeah, so the zip is on the back, so this is what people think. They just think that, oh, it's just a little pouch with a pocket on the front of it, yes. where actually there's a secret compartment there with your zip, so you can put your money inside that pouch. And so then, then it's safe, because it's against your body, your body, that body, bit of body. Oh, I suppose if you were going somewhere else, you could always wear it that way around well, as well, yeah, because it's depending on which way, what you've had, what move. Right, we'll, so we'll tell you all about that in a second. <laughs> Um, because they will just carry on briefly. I mean, the thing is, it's a simple project, but I would say no question is a silly question we're saying is concerned. Yeah, yeah. And you are covering every single aspect so of that. So with, with, with the, the zip, with, with the uh, vegetable pouch, this is where we start going into, like, now you're going to put a zip in. Yes. And I make a little joke of it going, go grab a cup of tea, take a deep breath, we're going to put a zip in, mm. because it is a scary thing if you've never done it before. But once you've done that zip, then you know when you get on later, like, for instance, when we do the, the carousel. Oh, yes, skirt. you might notice, uh, it's not, we haven't done our washing. <laughs> yeah. If you look around the studio, yeah. there's all different... These are all projects within the book, within aren't they, the book, right? yeah. so We'll wander around in a minute. I'll, <laughs> I'll show you them to you. But now you know how to put a zip in when you come to do the carousel skirt. You know how to do that already, because you've done that with the yes, vegetable exactly, pouch. Yes, exactly, exactly. But you then don't ignore it. You then explain how to do it again, Absolutely. don't you? Yeah, each, yeah. So each project is totally and utterly um, explained to the full about block printing, dye dyeing. Then I love this, this tassel top. <laughs> I think that's really, really lovely. Just have a look at that T-shirt there. It's the boots. It's the boots that inspired that. <laughs> There's my tassel top. So again, I think that was because of um, being in my band, I needed a stage outfit. It's all about the Stevie Nicks. Where are the sequins? Stevie Nicks That's uh, your tassels. stage outfit. Uh, yeah, now, um, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in a second. You've got <clears> to <throat> carry on with, with all of these, the shirt reverse. I mean, I'm going to be showing you this for, t for the next couple of hours, so we will go through it in more detail. But there are so many, and as Jennifer said, the projects get, they're not difficult, none of them are difficult, no. but they get more, more there's more techniques involved. So everything you've just gone through now, this is all about... Um, smaller projects or upcycling so most of the clothes have already been made but you're doing something to them to make them different and picking up skills as you're doing that this now making clothes from scratch this is where you take it to the next level so this is where you start using your body measurements and maybe clothes that you have that already fit you and you're using that as a base pattern so this is where you really are starting to make clothes from scratch. From scratch, yeah, exactly. And when everyone, um, whenever we do a show, a lot of people go, oh, it isn't in my size. Oh, it doesn't go up to my size. Is it? Can it come bigger or smaller? Or can I have this bit longer? Can I have that bit you... shorter? Exactly. This is any size. Yes. Whatever size you are, it's for your body, whether it's for a child or somebody else. Any size will fit this book. Exactly. So... Now, taking measurements, very, very important to get that right. Uh, now, you're showing how to do it on yourself because most people would rely on having someone else to measure. Absolutely. It's easier if someone else does measure you, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. At least, and also, <coughs> little tips like uh, uh, nobody, I do this all the time, tie, a, uh, well, I tie a tape measure, but you can tie something, because your natural waist isn't where we isn't think where our waist think is. is. We Absolutely. don't wear anything on our waist anymore, do no, we? No. So you're not, it's really important to do little things like tie that round and it will find your natural waist. Because waist. then you have to do measurements from the waist, like your top hip and your bottom hip, an inch, three yeah, inches, yeah, eight yeah. inches down from your waistline. If you don't know where your waistline you is. You haven't got that point no, of reference. Exactly, Absolutely. exactly. So there's all this. Now that's the skirt, I think that's behind us, isn't it? It is, yeah. So this is inspired by my mom, actually. So this is actually a tablecloth. Oh, a got a picture. Now it's a t it started life as a tablecloth. This one. <laughs> it did, yeah. But you got a picture of it, did you say? There you go. Have you? There oh, you go. Lovely. Um, so, so oh, how is it? How is it? How's it about your mum then? So, um, if we just go yeah. one more page and one more page, there you go. It's in that top. Oh, I've there. seen this picture. You have when we did the Mother's Day. Oh, that's, that's right, right. That's right. So, so you see up here the little photo. Absolutely, and and this is a picture. I think we're in Lou, and I'm, I'm probably not even one there. And my mom, she just used to live in what I would call gypsy skirts or or um, uh, vintage skirts, basically wrap skirts. Yes. So what year um, was that then? <clears throat> If you were oh, one. I don't. That was <laughs> eight, uh, 83, 83 oh. I reckon, 83-ish. But as soon as I saw that tablecloth, I think it was in a charity show, I was like, oh, I know exactly what I'm making out of that. It's funny how fabric 
tells you what you need to make yes, out exactly, of it. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. And, and for me, that fabric was, it just screamed my mom. And so that, that project is a dedication to my mom. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Tilly, uh, can I just say, there are so many messages. I will, we will get to reading some of them out once, once we get into the sewing. I just didn't want to, I don't want to disturb <laughs> no, you no, in your no, flow no, and everything like that. <laughs> Tilly Rose is messaging saying oh, congratulations. No, no. Loads of people saying congratulations, good luck with the book. Good luck. We, will, we will read them out as the show gets going, but I just want you to see the book. First of all, can I just tell you, so many of these have gone into baskets already. It's absolutely flying it. Uh, people are multiplying and they're checking out straight away to making sure they get it. And remember, all Thank of them you. will be signed. All of them will be signed. Uh, so, if we carry on, these are still make. Oh, I've seen you wearing this. I've or, seen you wearing that. I'm not I? joking. I wear these clothes. Yes. And that's what's really important, I think, John. If you're going to be an advocate for sewing and go, oh, you know, make your own clothes, guys, you need to be proof of the pudding. Mm -hmm. And I do. I mean, I'm wearing my. I live in this Dunker dress. Abs and it's got pockets, guys! It's got pockets! <laughs> in the side so about that. Always about the pockets. Um, but I live, in, the, I live yes. in these garments and I literally had to get them out of my wardrobe and iron them for you today because <laughs> I wear them. I genuinely no. do. Uh, this is what we're going to be doing in the second hour, yeah. isn't it? That lovely uh, blouse, the criss crossover at the back blouse. Um, I'll go more through the book in a second because we ought to start some sewing and get... To oh, now, we've made we've made one of these before, oh, yes. haven't we? Which so one was it? This is where it was a little sneaky peek. We yes, did we that. made this right near the beginning when we, we first did. opened, that's didn't right. we? That's right, yeah, that, I think that's, And this, that's... Whenever we have a fabric like that, or I will say, make a Jennifer Taylor shift dress. I always <laughs> say the same thing. Oh, Jennifer Taylor wears a lot of these. Because um, that's, that's, that, that's, to me, that's the signature you, that Yeah, one. yeah, it's always about the, what I call the dunga dress. Yes. So um, the, the corduroy that I'm wearing and the, uh, the uh, sunflower, I call it. It's not sunflowers, but it rem that fabric reminds me of sunflowers. It's the same garment, but with alterations. So again, just by tweaking a few things, you automatically get a different look. So I'm, I hope I walk you through everything you need and arm you with the tools you need yeah, to make exactly. your... Exactly. Start your own sewing revolution. Exactly, right. We're going to start some sewing. Yep. If you've got any questions, then we, we, I'm going to be shouting out lots of messages during this next two okay. hours, I can tell. Um, so we'll start some sewing, and I'll just interrupt by shouting out <laughs> okay, and everything. Fine. So now, this <laughs> festival pouch is yes, in the book, isn't it? Yes, yes. So um, the reason why I thought I'd start with this, so we're going to do a really simple project, and then we're going to do a more complicated project okay. in the second Before hour. you start sewing this, yes. we have done bundles for yes. people at home. So you, I'm just going to go and show your yes, bundles. Go Don't do it. anything. I won't, I won't Take make... a deep breath, because you've had to talk <laughs> a lot so far. Oh, and I'll just take you through the different bundles here. If you follow me over, you'll see all of the... Oh, there's, that, there's, that, there's that dress. Mm -hmm. There's that dress that I just um, meant pointed out in the thing. They're lovely. Those, they're like... Um, they're like really... They're like Thai fishermen's trousers, aren't they? Yes! Um, and then we've got all the... Oh, well, anyway, let's... These are the three bundles I've got to show you now. <clears throat> Starting off with the red hat. So, basically, what we've done is we put together a little kit of a little bundle of what you need to make this festival pouch. So, this one's called Red Arrows. You get half a metre of the red arrow fabric. You get half a metre of that lovely linen effect fabric. Uh, not linen, denim effect fabric there. You get the zip. You get the thread. OK, now this one's got a different zip to the other two, just so you know. This one's got a metal zip in it, this one. And you get the interfacing. All of that for £23.95. I've got to still show you what you get in the bundle. There it is. So you get the red arrows fabric, <coughs> the um, denim fabric. It's not denim, it's a denim print fabric. The, the metal zip, the thread and the interfacing, £23.95. Uh, remember the book as well? Oh, the book was just going across the bottom there. Right, moving on to the next one. Right, OK, this is called Stitch. I'll just wait for it to come up. And that's it, Casted Loops. Casted Loops, this one's called. So this is the Casted Loop fabric here. Then this is a dashwood fabric, half a metre of each of those. Uh, a black zip in this one. You get the orange thread in that one, and you get the interfacing for £23.95. That's lovely. Do you want to see a still of that one? Oh, carry on, carry on, carry on. OK. And then last but not least is this one. Now, this is the one that Jennifer's going to use to actually show you how to make this, uh, this piece. Um, that's lovely, isn't it? That, I'll waft it out for you in a minute. Well, you'll be able to see it when Jennifer starts. So this one's called the Diamond Denim Festival Bag Bundle. £23.95. Half a metre of this, half a metre of this. Uh, reel of thread, nice yellow thread there. The iron on this facing, and this one you get a white zip for £23.95. Right, let's go back and let's get Jennifer started, shall we? Right. So 
All yours, girl. Uh, I'll just shout out messages. You do <laughs> so in. Okay, cool. All right then. So uh, in the, you can bake this to any size you want. I, I obviously because this is an upcycled one, I was restricted to the size of um, material that I wanted. But in our lovely bundles, you can go as big as small as you exactly. like. Exactly. Okay. So um, it, the instructions are, are in the book. Um, but if you want to know how big they are, I have made a little note on the back of my uh, piece there. So. Um, this denim piece, because this is the front, is a 20 by 28 centimeter rectangle. This is all. Now, have you put in the book <clears throat> the sizes of that, or have you just said you can cut a rectangle of any size? Um, I, I've, in the book, I've said you can make it to any size, but my measurements for this particular one is X. So okay, in this case, brilliant, it is brilliant. the 20 yeah. by 28. So they can use this one and then go, oh, I'd like mine a bit smaller than that, or I'd like mine a bit bigger than Absolutely. that, and just work it themselves. Absolutely. Brilliant. So if you are going to make it to a unique size, um, the only difference that you need to do is that the, um, that's the one I'm looking for, so that's the back piece. Um, the back piece where the zip goes needs to be three centimeters longer. OK, and the reason being for that is because you need to insert a zip. Right. So there's a seam allowance in there oh. and the seam allowance is 1.5. 1 1.5 plus 1 1.5 is three centimetres. So whatever size you're doing that that front, how you want it to be at the front, just add an extra three centimetres in length on the back piece. That's right. the only difference between the front and the back. OK, brilliant. All right. OK. Remember, all this comes from in the book, Girl with the Sewing Machine book by Jennifer Taylor, £12.95. Uh, OK, uh, start sending some. Oh, we go. Karen, congratulations on your book. I've just bought my copy. Can't wait for it to come. That's uh. Karen. Sure, sure. I can't wait to see what you make from it. Um, so what I've done with this beautiful denim, I've actually interfaced it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, in the in the book, it doesn't say to do that because I use the denim. Um, but it's it's nice to have that, that extra bit of sturdiness yeah. on there. Um, and the only difference from the book is is that I've decided to use a lining. So I have done the same. So there's two pieces here. So that's different from the book. Okay. Because obviously with the denim. Um, you, it's nice and firm. Oh, yes, firm, of course, yes. Whereas I've put this into face, and you don't want to see that on the inside of your bag, no. do you? So the only difference between my demonstration now and the book is that I've decided to line that part and that's But there's that enough fabric there. in there, Oh, there's it. plenty of fabric in so there. I've just checked out two books as my sister in law is on holiday. Well done, Jennifer. That's oh, Lorraine. Thank you. I didn't get Karen in Devon's. So Karen in Devon's <laughs> never arrived. Cool. OK, so the first thing we need to do now is insert our zip before we do anything. Right. Um, so we need to make um, a, a slight adjustment in this fabric. So we need to cut it. So that sounds a bit Just scary. bought my book, yippee. <laughs> Karen and Exeter, great shows. Love you all. Thank Love you, Love you. Thank you. OK, so right. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to be disturbing you a lot during this. <laughs> no, so you have to it's concentrate a lot. Fine. OK, so uh, we need to cut um, a section now. So where you want your zip to be, I think in, my, in the instructions, it's something like three inches. Right. Uh, sorry, four inches. Um, so that would be 10 centimetres. So I'm just going to make a small incision there. And then another thing that I like to do is just fold the fabric over, just to make it a little bit easy for yourself. If somebody's not as confident as you are just snipping into fabric like that, they can draw a line, can't they? Oh, yeah. It if they want to. I mean, to. if we, we, we do the lovely um, water erasable pens, oh, don't yes. we? And um, we've got the new um, retractable pencils as well. Oh, I, I haven't seen those. Oh, they're ones. fabulous. We'll have to get those out next time. Um, so, yeah, whatever you feel more confident. For me, get in with the scissors because this is a confidence boosting. Yes, yeah. And if, you, if you're not. If you're scared to just cut a small piece of fabric like that, then we need to beat that out of you. So just get, <laughs> get the scissors and cut into it. Okay. okay? So we're going to start inserting our zips. So this is where people go, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. So here we have our, our zip today. So again, this is in the bundle. Yes. Um, it doesn't matter what zip you're using, um, it, it, the process would be the same for this demonstration. Um, okay, so I'm going to open up my zip. So this is obviously the front of the zip because I've got the, uh, the little toggle there yeah. on the zip. So you need to put the right sides onto the right sides of the fabric. Like so. Eleanor in West Yorkshire. Congratulations, Jenny. Such an exciting day. We'll be wearing my Sewing Revolution badge <gasps> in your honour. Yay! Uh, that's Eleanor. Nell... Oh, how do I say that? Nell, Nell Man Nell and Nora, Nor Nora. She's so lovely. When I had the she shed, um, she only sent me some crocheted bunting. Oh. So lovely. Thank oh, so there you much. go. That's Eleanor. So I gave her a Sewing Revolution badge to say oh. thank you. Thank you so much for messaging in. That's lovely. There's loads, so you're just getting a little um, portion of them here. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> carry on with the sewing. So all I'm doing now is just popping some pins in place to keep it um, while we get to the sewing machine. Yeah. Um, so with your lovely machine, obviously it's girl with the sewing machine. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, in this case, I'm using the Elna. This is a really good, really good starting machine. So if, you, if, you, if you're thinking about starting sewing today, it's the first time you've tuned in, 
I would really highly recommend this machine. It's fantastic. It really uh, is. Now, wonderful. if you buy that sewing machine today, <laughs> uh, you do get a free copy of the girl with the sewing machine. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> That's a little treat Everything for you. Everything you need to get started. Yeah, exactly. Well, it, it really it is. It's the inspiration, <laughs> isn't it? I think this is where husbands or boyfriends or anything need to get involved. Buy us, buy you. I mean, I'm being I'm being totally stereotypical no, no. here, all the other way around. But a sewing <laughs> machine and a book to start off. Uh, there is a very limited bundle, though, with the sewing machine and the book. There it is. The, the sewing machine costs 449 anyway on any normal day, but today, and today only, you can get the book free if you buy the sewing machine as well. If you go to the website... There's a still here. <clears throat> There's the bundle. But if you go to the website and look up in the shop, Elna 540, and click on it, you can see all the details of what the Elna 540 does. OK, back to the sewing. So with the Elna, it comes with, um, I think it's three feet. It might be four feet, actually. You've got a standard feet. I'm um, going to get them all out later brilliant. so we can have a look. Um, so in, in your, oh, your kit, you will have a zipper foot. Yes. Okay, so make sure you go and find that. So all I've done is taken that foot off, replaced it with my zipper foot, and I, I'm about to sew that in. So I've gone halfway down. Right. Um, so the thing about zips is, is that you need to get around the head of the zip. Yes. Okay, otherwise... Can I just ask? Go, go back, go back. Yeah. Go. For somebody who's never done it before, mm -hmm. how do you know where to... How do you know, you put your zipper foot on, yep. how do you know where to stitch? What's, what's, the, what's the joy of a zipper foot? So the, um, it, if I finish the zip, I'll take it off and I'll show you Brilliant. what it okay. is. I think okay. that, that would get it across yeah, better. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, so what I need to do to get around that, I need to lift my foot up. So I'm making sure that my needle is in the fabric. So this way the work's not going anywhere. And if you don't, what's going to happen is you end up with a kink in your sewing and you, and you don't and want And nobody it. wants that nobody today wants on a Monday kink. morning. Um, so you just need to twist the fabric around pass the zip behind it, which I have done, so it's completely out of the way now, and then place it down. So actually, when you're in um, where you are now, that might be a nice place to show you. Um, on the zipper foot, there's a slight ridge, like a curb, yeah. if you like. Um, and what that's doing is, is, is kind of mounting, for lack of a better word, the, the, the zipper, the, the teeth of the zip. So what that zipper foot is doing is butting up against where it needs to go, so it gives you a really nice close finish. Whereas if I was going to use this foot, which is my standard foot, the yeah. gauge is f too far away. It's too, um, it's too wide. Yes. Okay. Whereas the zipper foot is really thin, and then you've got that bevel in the back. So once I finish the zip, I'll, I'll flip it over so you can see the back of the exactly. zip. Um, but there are the, the, the the machines come with different feet, and it is really... Everyone know we keep talking about the instructions, but read the instructions. Yes, exactly. They're really good. Exactly. They really are. And that you'll find things um, that you didn't even know. So going back to how I learned to sew, it was through reading the instruction manual for the sewing machine, getting books, inspirational books for projects, yeah. um, upcycling um, was obviously a big one. Um, and for me, it was vintage patterns, actually. You know, when the, the, the pieces have gone missing, so you might have lost, I don't know, the, the face thing or even the instructions. Yes. So I was learning by making it up and just making mistakes and then learning mm. from but Sometimes them. that's the best way to learn, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. So I've sewn that one side of the zip in already, so that's all complete. So we're going to do the other side in a moment. Okay. Before we do that, just to answer John's question, that's a zipper foot. It will differ from machine to machine, but pretty much the same. You keep talking, Hannah's saying to me, I can't hear what you're saying. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is flip that over. So you can see you've got these little areas there where they, they dip. So if I bring it to the top there, you can see the difference there in the top, that's where the teeth would slide under. So if we come back to the top, you can see that where the needle goes, it's very, very close to the zip edge. That's what that zipper foot is doing. Right. So if you don't change it, you're not going to get that closeness that we've got here on my stitching on my zip. Brilliant. You're not going to get it. So get, um, your, get your feet out. Have a quick look at the bundle, what you're getting in the bundle here. The Elna 540EX <coughs> machine, and you get the free book. Uh, well, you're saving 12 95 You get the free gift of 12 95 basically, because the sewing machine always costs 4 4 9 anyway. Brilliant price for a brilliant <laughs> sewing machine. OK? Brilliant. OK, so now we've done the one side which was pretty easy. Now yeah. you go, oh, right, now I've got to do the other. Yes. OK, so at the moment, my, fa my zip is facing down Just on my fabric. Yeah, okay. there you go. Oh, hang on, there you go. So it's facing down on the fabric. So now I need to attach that part to this part of the zip. Right. So what I would do is flip the zip over. Right. OK, so now you've got the right side <coughs> facing up. This is the right side of the other fabric. Place that down. Right. And then what you can do is use the sides of the fabric. So you've got here. Make sure you're matching those up before you get to the zip. Then that way you know 
it's in the right position. Yeah. Okay, so you just need to pop a few pins in there again and then go again. Would you, now you're just pinning and going, would you um, tack it? You could tack it, if of course if you're you could. New, if you're new to it, because I, 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 Zip's <laughs> terrified me because I never ever learned how to do a zip. Well, um, you could tack it, and I think um, uh, Lucy used some, um, it's a glue that they normally use for uh, EPP, EPP e yes, e yes. English paper pieces. Yeah. Grab, a, grab a glue stick. Yeah. stick wh whatever is best and easiest for you, whether it's pinning or tacking or gluing, just get it under the machine, get exactly. a zip in. All right? Okay, so I'm going to go for it. Oh, where's my foot gone? Here it is. Um, do you know what page this was? This was near the beginning. It wasn't the first <laughs> one. It was one of the first... Which one? There it is, there it is, there it is. I'm just showing you now in the book the um, the, the festival pouch that um, oops that we're doing. Uh, there we go, festival pouch. Oh, now look at the instructions, look at the details. Yeah, it's having a cup of tea there at the beginning. That's before you put the zip in, that's you see. The top that's a stressing. <laughs> top tip, have a cup of tea before you put the it's zip true. in. It's true. But don't be like that lady on 24 hours in a doctor's surgery that I was watching last night. She had palpitations and they realised she had 30 cups of tea a day. Oh, my God. But she thought she was, it was very sad. She thought she was dying. Oh, but wow. it's because she was drinking 30 cups of tea, so she just went to decaffeinated tea and she's fine now. <laughs> anyway, uh, all the instructions, fabulous instructions to make this that festival post. That's just one. How many projects are there, by the way? Do you know? Uh, there are... 14 projects 14 and there's projects. a section on inspirational ideas for upcycling so whether it be embroidery or or uh, tie dyeing or block printing brilliant uh big shout out for jennifer bought my book looking forward to seeing it that's oh, from jill in staffordshire thank you enjoy it enjoy it okay so now my zip is in just ordered my book this is deborah can't wait to get it jennifer is such an inspiration that's thank deborah in essex thank you very much keep sewing come on okay. don't let it get to your head <laughs> don't let it get to your head so i've done my zip now so you could just leave it like that if you wanted to yeah um but what i like to do is just finish it off with a nice top stitch right. here so then just it doesn't um it doesn't do what it's doing now which it's is forking rolling. up yeah because if it rolls over over, there's a tendency that when you put your zip open, you're going to catch your fabric. Absolutely. Right? So I'm going to go back now to my standard zipper foot. Yeah. Um, my standard foot. Sorry, I've just removed the zipper yeah. foot, and I'm just going to go down with a line of parallel stitches. So I'm just going to butt the edge of the foot up against the edge of the the teeth. Okay. If you want to adjust how wide that is, then go to the zigzag. We talk about this quite often, don't yes. we? Yes. Go to the zigzag part of the stitch, which is the stitch width. Nick it across, so that would be to the left, and then you give you a nice, a, a tighter, yes. nicer top finish. But you wouldn't press it. You wouldn't press <clears> it or anything at this point, though. I would press it, okay. but um, we're speeding along, aren't we? We are, and the iron's not switched well, yeah. on. That'll be oh, Jay's there you fault. Go. <laughs> I put it on just in case. Uh, Jay, you couldn't bring me my water, could you? Sorry, I forgot to bring it in. There. Right. So now you're just stitching down the side zip, just holding the fabric. Just holding back, it nice in place. So you don't need to worry about the zip where we had to move it before because it will just go straight past it. So that's that one done. And I'm not bothering to do a back stitch there either because I'm going to be sewing across it in of a moment course, yeah. as well. So obviously you could have pressed this beforehand, but we're just going to go for it. And you don't have the issue on this one with the um, zipper pull thing. Or, I don't know what you call it, the top of the zip. Because when we did the other one, you had to move it down out and move way. out of the way. Whereas this, because your foot's far enough away, you don't need to worry because so much you, about yeah, this Yeah, absolutely. One. So we've already done that. So there we go. So we've got a nice line of, uh, of top stitching now parallel to our zips. That's making that nice and secure for you. Yeah. Um, we've gone with a nice yellow thread on this one. So just to give you that nice top exactly. stitching. Especially I'll when go through the bundles with you in a second. We'll, we'll have a little break. So there you go. Anyway. That's the zip done. So that wasn't much difficult, wasn't it? No, not at all. But you've done brilliant. it. OK, so now it's about getting your lining, which is where the zip is, attached to the main fabric, which is our denim. So just to recap this very quickly, right. in the instructions, I just used the, a pair of old jeans, right. but obviously um, it's it's a lot heavier weight yeah, of course. Um, fabric. denim. Um, whereas this one's a beautiful. I love this it's fabric. Gorgeous print, isn't it? It really reminds me of sashiko stitching, which I'm really into at the moment. Into what? Sashiko stitching. Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's Japanese stitching. Oh, like I know. Yes, yes, yes. I say it differently to you. How do you say uh, it? Sashi sashiko. Oh, I said it in Italian. It's not sashiko. <laughs> Italian. Yeah, um, Italian. Yes, it's, it's Japanese, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's Japanese. That's understandable. Um, so yeah, that's the fabric we're using today. Uh, it's gorgeous, but I wanted to give it that extra bit of body, so I've interfaced it. So when you, if I didn't, and I open my zip. You're, you're going just to see the interfacing. Yeah. We don't want that, do we? You've got but loads of But when you use denim on yours, you just see the back of the you denim, You just see the back of the denim, yeah. so if I just do that. Yeah. Oh, yes, actually. There you go. There's the back of the denim. Oh, there. Oh, Come in. There you go. 
So you can just see the back of the denim on that one, whereas this one you can see the interfacing. Exactly. So we don't want to, we don't want that, and you get so much fabric in our little bundle. Oh so yeah, you totally. Can, I, think, I think you could easily make two, if not three, festival pouches out of that, oh, depending wow. on the, in, in the size that yes. we, I'm doing it in. Yeah. Um, but because I've got extra fabric, I will go through the bundles in a second. I, I'm going to line it. So all I'm doing it's the same size. Just to recap, that was 20 by 28 centimeters. Yeah. It's just the same again, so wrong sides together. Yes. Okay? So now we're ready to start sewing. So if you wanted to tack that in place or baste it, it's entirely up to you. But because they're quite small pieces, I'm not going to do that. Oh, okay. Okay, so now right sides together. So this is our zip. That's our main fabric. Right. Right sides together. Okay, so we're making a sandwich. Now, if you've got a directional fabric, do you need to be aware at this point that it's... Um, the main thing, so if this is a... Let's just flip that. If this is directional, so let's just pretend there's a cat yes. on it. So the head's there. <laughs> oh, yes, I can see it. Head's there and the tail's there. Yeah. Your zip needs to go on the bottom. Yes. Of the, normally, you'd, be in, you'd want to go up the top, but it's yes. on, the on this bag, no. It needs, the, the zip needs to be on okay. the bottom, OK? But with the fabric like that, it doesn't matter, It doesn't does matter. It, yeah. it really doesn't matter. In fact, none of our fabrics, none of the fabrics we've got are directional, <clears> so you're fine with all of the fabrics that we're doing for the bundle. Perfect. But if you're going to do a, an upcycled make and you've got your pocket, then it would matter because you'd want the zip to be on the bottom of, course, of the pocket, yes. not the top of the pocket. Um, can I just, will you just have a look at this? These oh are all the people who have come God, in, I'm right? I'm going to cry. That's amazing. Carol, Molly, Catherine, Margaret, Janet, Amanda, Christine, Shirley, Elaine, Lynn, Valerie, <gasps> uh, Sally, Jane, Deborah, Barbara, Rosalind, Gina, Jane, wow. Julie, Sandra, Cynthia, Cynthia. Oh, two Cynthia spelt differently. Uh, Judith, Joanne, Susan, Jill, Karen, Charmaine, Louise, Connie. I'm not even halfway oh, through. Oh, don't. I'm actually on. Like, Those are all people who've something. checked out. They're people who've checked out. Checked out. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, all those people have checked out. I've got people in baskets. Sonia, Denise, Wendy, uh, Anne, oh, wow. Barbara, Maria, T, Julie, Paul, Chrissy, Anne, Janice, Kim. You all need to check out. Carol's just checked out. And so Thank has you. another Karen just checked out. Wow. Loads of messages Thank coming through. Thank you so through. much. I've got all goosebumpily. Thank it's you so it's much. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jay, put that white heating back on. OK, so I've, I've pinned in my corners. I'm not going to pin any more yet. Right. Because I'm going to start sewing this together. And if I don't move my zip now, we're not going to be able to turn it out. Right. OK, so normally when we do this kind of thing, we leave a gap, don't we? Yes. Well, our gap's the zip, so we don't need to leave a gap. So make sure you uh, unzip Open your zip. Open the zip, yeah. OK. And then you can just pop some pins to keep it in place. There's one. There's two. Oh, OK. So now we've got that, yeah. we're going to go around with a 1.5 seam allowance all the way around because right. our hole is the zip. While you do that, you go. can I go and show the bundles? Of course you it's may. Just, we're just four, it's just four lines it's of stitching, isn't it? Yeah. So I didn't want Landful. anyone to miss anything. No. OK, all right. right. So, oh, it's freezing <laughs> in it, isn't it, Michael? I'm surprised you haven't got your big coat on, your gloves on. Um, right, I've got... Three bundles. The first one is this one, the one that Jennifer's actually using. What you get is you get half a metre of each of the fabrics. Well, let me just show you, actually. I mean, how many festival packs are you going to be able to make out of this? Told you there'd be loads. Loads! Right, so you get half a metre of the, that fabric, which is called the uh, de diamond denim. You get half a metre of the uh, geometric print that goes with it. You get the iron-on interfacing, you get the white zip, and you get the yellow thread for £23.95. Have a look at that. There's the still of everything you get in that bundle. Or if you don't want that fabric, you've got two other choices here. OK, there's this one, which has got the black zip. It's got the orange thread, it's got the iron-on interface, and then the two fabrics are really, really lovely. You get half a metre of each of these again, remember. Oops. At 23.95, it's called the casted... Oh, wrong one. Casted loops, that's why I need the arrows on there. Casted loops, that's what we need. Um, this is what you get in this bundle. Now, they're fantastic. You don't, uh, the thing is, if you're saying, oh, but I don't go to, I don't go to festivals, I don't go to festivals, you go on holiday, you go away for the day on a Sunday, walk, walking, you can go away visiting a seaside town, you go to a city break. It's just fantastic. For, and you know that everything is safe in that pouch on your belt. That's the casted loop. That's the casted loop one there. And then, oh, sorry about, both Jennifer, I've got little tickly coughs today. Um, and then last but not least, we've got the red arrows. This is lovely. I love this fabric. 
So this one, what you get is you get half a metre of the uh, red arrows fabric. You get half a metre. Now, it's a denim fabric, but it's a denim print. It's not a heavy denim. Now, this one, you get the, the zip, the blue zip with the, with the metal teeth in it, this one. You also get the lovely red thread and the interfacing for £23.95. That's, the, the, that's what you get in that little bundle there. Now, that's all to do with the project from the book. Shall we have a look at the picture of... Um, we've got a picture of it actually low slung on the hip with Jennifer's belt that she had on with, with her this morning. Um, here it is. Have a look at this. It's just see how it works on your waistline there with your little T-shirt and things. And that's the one from the book. We haven't got the bundle fabric for that. That's the original one from Jennifer's book. Right. Got right. to get going. Brilliant. OK, so I've sewn around the four edges of my um, pouch. Yes. Obviously, I've left my gap because my zip's slightly yes. open, which is great. Um, so the next part of the instruction, again, is, is really key, when you're, especially when you're doing dressmaking, is clipping. So I know we're only making a bag, um, but the, the, the skill we're learning from this little project is obviously uh, is to give your corners that nice sharp edge. We're, we're doing something called clipping. So I've done around the three sides. So I'm just going to do the last one with you. So if you haven't seen it before, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just taking the bulk off the, um, off the seam allowance. So remember, that was a 1.5 seam allowance. Yeah. OK. So clipping is where you end up mitering the corners. Now, I actually do mine really deep. Some people just go straight across the corner, yes, yes, yeah. but then I find that when you fold it back, they still touch and yes. you still get that little bit of bulk. Where if you're coming really slight like this, when you do fold it back, they're not match they're not meeting yes, at all. Exactly. Okay. Um, so yeah, because what you've got to remember is what you don't cut away fills the corner. Absolutely. So if you haven't cut enough of it away, when you turn it through, you're going to get one of those bulky through, corners. You're going to get a bulky you? corner. So. Um, Again, it, it's only on that one edge, but when you start getting get to things like the uh, the dunga dress, for yeah. instance, um, or even um, the crossover back, any of those circled um, corners all need to be clipped. And if you don't know what that is, you no. Won't, you but won't also, know what you to might as well start off. You mean to go on because you, you automatically do it, don't you? you? And it that means when you get more advanced, you'll automatically nature, do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, if I, this was an exposed seam, then obviously I would use a pinking shear. So again, I talk about in um, fabricology in my tools. You know what kind of tools that you need to get started with. OK, I've got Jenny, really happy for you. Oh, Tina Francis, Tina Francis, Tapestry. Oh, hi, Tina. Hello. Right, there's another email come through. Yes. <laughs> a message for Jennifer. I just have to read it out. It's from your brother. It never is. It is, Rob. Oh, my God, don't. I'm going to cry, don't. Go on, what's the message? So proud of my sister. Don't, I'm going to cry. So, watching online don't. at work. Good luck. That's your brother. I hate you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, don't. That's why we want to get really emotional. Anyway, keep saying. I can't. I'm crying. You what? I'm crying. Oh, no. Tissue. Oh, Jay. Oh. Jay. Thanks, Rob. I love you. Um, oh. oh, gosh. That's really thrown me back. He didn't mean to make you cry. Oh, right. OK. So, one of my tips in my book. Yes. <laughs> and it's filled with tips. Um, tissues, Jay. It's because you can't. Not toilet roll, but proper Mascara's tissues. Go in. Um, tissues. <laughs> oh, he's going like this. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's chopsticks. OK, where's well, I've got to Derek the Dobber. Well, Derek the Dobber, where is Derek, Derek the Dobber? Derek Dobber's up there, though. This is a very good Derek the Dobber, but not everybody has a Derek the no. Dobber. So if not, just grab a, grab a chopstick. They're just as good. Another one, you know when you have um, Christmases or birthdays and then you have a, a, a manicure or pedicure set? Yeah. And you have those toe separators and you never really use them. Don't throw them away. They make great bobbin holders. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, I don't have a... No, I'm talking uh, about tips. Uh, no, 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 no. I was thinking you were still on this. I was like, I don't have a thing shoved like that. Oh, here you go. Don't Thank show the, the make now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, no, no. I was thinking you were thinking you put these through your toes. <laughs> I was like, oh my word! Wow. Well, maybe a Derek the Dobber, but not that yes. one. Yes. But anyway. Uh, right. Let's get on. Let's Sorry. get on. Sorry. What's the matter, Joe? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. You can go now. <laughs> so now we're going to turn it inside out like a pillowcase, okay? Right. So I'm doing that. <laughs> that fabric looks great with that. Um, what's the one in the back? I can't remember now. Is it a dashwood? In the bath. In the back. What's oh, that? in the back. In the back. It's. Oh, I haven't got the details up on my thing. I'll tell you in a minute. So what I'm doing now using my, my trusty chopstick is just poking out the corners. So don't use your scissors, guys. No. Because what you'll probably find you'll do is end up pushing through that corner because you really did clip quite close to the, um, the edge. And another tip there is that make sure you don't clip your actual stitching. Yes. That's the most important thing. OK, so um, I've bagged that out now. So the next thing is just to give it a, a quick press and then go around Would you like to do that? Because I did put the iron on. Yes, please, my darling. All right. But what I was saying is this fabric goes lovely with that... <laughs> 
That denim fabric, doesn't it? Oh, yes, really <laughs> nice. Really nice. Hannah was just looking it up for us. Oh, yeah, what, but what's the... <coughs> Mille Fleur. Mille Fleur, that Mille fabric. Fleur. Dashwood Mille Fleur. Mille Fleur. Oh, it is Dashwood. Yeah, you've used this. You've made um, a couple of things out of this, haven't you, in the past? Um, I've not this... Oh, have you not done that no, one? I thought you'd done one. that one. No, not this one. No, no. Um, the other Dashwood with the mustard in, because you know I love a bit of mustard. Yes. Um, I have, but not this one. Oh, you like this Hannah's one. outfit, producer Hannah's outfit today. She's she come dressed head to toe in, in mustard today. And, because she's going out after work today, um, she's... Um, She's, you remember Hannah and I used to work with jewellery? She went on a cutting course and the jewels on her necklace, she's cut them <gasps> herself. I didn't herself. know yeah. that. Yeah. It is exquisite. Yeah. Absolutely exquisite. She did it all by herself. Clever girl. Clever girl. OK, so I've just gone and pressed my work. So obviously another tip would be press as you go. Yes. Um, I know we well, that's a dressmaker thing, <clears> isn't it? <throat> yeah, we yeah. automatically press as we go. And there is a difference between pressing and ironing. Yeah, there is. Um, but obviously, we skip a lot sometimes when we do demonstrations. We don't press when we yes. should do. But at home, you're close. Get the iron out. Get it hot. Well, you do, the iron's on all day, isn't all it, basically? All day, absolutely. Yeah. Make sure you put some water in there as well. Yes, because also, you can tell <laughs> the people who work here that don't do a lot of sewing, because you go, keep going to the iron, and it's been switched ah, off. And they on. use it once, yeah. and then they switch off. Whereas <laughs> if I'm working, my iron just goes on in the oh, morning, and then... Yeah. Leave it on. Leave anyway. It on. OK, so I'm going to do a top stitch now. So this is purely for decoration, but there is another reason for doing it. One, it's actually going to be enclosing all of those raw edges on the inside. So when you get into your bag, you're not going to be fighting with the raw edges on the inside. But it's also framing the outside and making those corners really nice and sharp. So there is a reason why we're doing it. Yeah. And again, this is what I want to do in the book, is just talk you through why. Why am I doing that? More than half the quantity of books <clears> have gone, Oh my gosh. Gem. You have to go and sign more. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. good though, isn't it? It's brilliant. So when we get to this section now with the zip, this is where you really do need to be super, super careful and that you don't go through any metal parts. So we've gone through Well, that especially nice as one of the zips, one of the zips is a metal zip, isn't Absolutely. it? So you need to be very careful with that one. So this is you? where you need to make sure that when you put your zip in that you've got enough in the, in the sides to be able to do that yes. section. Um, if you haven't, then you could just add um, a little tab on the side at the ends of the zips. Yes. To give you that extra bit of material so then you can do what we're doing now. <clears throat> but it's always best just to take it nice and steady. So, yeah, you don't want to be going over any metal parts of your zip. No. OK, so, again, I'm just going very slowly over my zip part. Big shout out for Jennifer bought my... Have I not done that one? Big shout out for Jennifer <laughs> bought my book. Looking forward to seeing it. That's Jill in Staffordshire. Thank you, Jill. That's not the one Hannah just sent through, apparently. Oh, it's a different message, sorry. Was that the one you were sending me, then? Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> There's well, another one coming through now, though, from Linda. Linda. Linda in Oxfordshire. Oh, bless you, Jennifer. Great tutorial, thank you. See you at your book signing. Eek! Eek! These are signed, but if you want to go and meet Jennifer... <coughs> are you doing a, a national tour, then? <coughs> Um, so we've got a couple of things in. I won't. No, hang on. I won't. I won't be at the. I won't be at the um, signing. Just so you know, fabulous show with you and John as always. Crafty hug, Linda in Oxfordshire. I might have to come with you as your sidekick. Sure. Oh, I'd love you to come. Where? Where are um, they? So the the couple of dates that we've got so far, and there are more being added. Yeah. So stay posted on my page. Taylor well, Taylor. we can tell them as well, can't we? Absolutely, absolutely. So the ones we have, I'm going to be doing Waterstone. Oh wow! In Birmingham on the 11th of June, <gasps> um, and then we're going to have an open day at the Inkborough Design Centre in Redditch, which is known as the Old Needle Work. So anybody who knows their sewing history yeah. knows that every needle made in the world at one point um, came from Redditch. Oh, wow. And I'm literally having my launch in an old needle Is factory. it a party? Is there wine in Yes, there is. So oh. in the day, we've got workshops, so you can come and have fun and play, oh, with, um, yeah. play workshops in the day. I'll come in the evening. Uh, and then from <laughs> uh, 7, that's on the 15th of June, and then from 6.30, we're going to do a live Q&A, and then it's going to be wine, and my husband's going to be DJing, oh. and cake. And Are you going to sing? No, 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 I'm not going to sing. I'll probably end up, I'm going to get a bit drunk. Yeah. Like <laughs> uh, so, and yeah, you're not going to get on. Oh, yeah. fantastic. So, hang on, Waterstones, Birmingham, what day? Waterstones, Birmingham, on the 11th of June. And, and that's a Sunday. And again, there's workshops there and book signings. And then the open day is an all-day event where you can do workshops with me in the day or just come for the party on the afternoon. Fine. All right, then. Yay! That's it now. Right. How many thousands of people are going <laughs> to yeah. turn up There's now? limited spaces. There's oh, limited yes. spaces. OK, so there's the pouch done. Yeah, brilliant. So that's quite Except cute the seas, anyway. the seas. So the last thing we need to do is our little uh, belt loops, OK? So 
Again, this is your uh, belt, um, your pouch. You can do it any way you want. I've decided to go with contrasting, so you need two of those and two of those. Right. Okay. Um, so this depends on how big your belt is, really, because you need to be able to pass that through, yeah, don't course. you? Um, but you need two, a front and a back. So there's one and there's two. Um, so again, I've interfaced this. This is an eight by 20 centimeter rectangle, right. by the way. Okay. But again, just triple check your belt. And what you need to do is fold it over. Let me do it that way so you can see. So you need to fold it over and be able to pass the belt through and have a decent amount to be able to attach it of to course, your yes. pouch. Okay, so, you know, give it a bit more than it needs to, all right? So the same, very similar to the process we did here, it's just right sides together. This time we're going to sew around into a square, but we are going to leave a gap because we haven't got a zip this time, yeah, okay? So this process is exactly the same, Again here, but again with repetition you're learning, aren't yes, you? Exactly. So I'm going to go and do that now, and that's okay, it. Okay, I was going to don't want to rush you, but I've got four and a half minutes, or that's you've fine. got four and a half minutes. Yep. Don't forget, Jennifer's in the next hour with, with another project, the next one, <clears throat> and we'll go we'll go round. What we'll do is we'll start the next shop and take you round all the, all the bits of uh, bits and bobs that Jennifer's made. Bits and bobs. With okay. the book. With the but more than half the book's gone. Boot. Half the book is gone. <laughs> half, half the, the book. book. I like that half one. Half the book. <laughs> Cool, so I'm just pivoting with um, my needle in the fabric. And if you're uh, a regular watcher, you've probably seen us do that quite a few times. It's a nice little trick to give you those nice crisp corners. Remember, if you buy the book for us today, it's signed, and it's the first time you've seen it on telly. I know, it's fantastic. On the telly? It? Oh, it's been awesome. Thank you so much for your lovely messages as well, everyone. There's loads lovely. of them. You'll have to go after your show, you'll have to go and see Hannah and get the rest of them because okay. there's so many coming through. Okay, so when we talked about clipping, some people just do that, which is absolutely fine. It's a triangle. Yeah. But when we fold it back like this, they still, you see how it's bulking up in that yeah. area there. So this is why I go in a little bit deeper because then I find that it doesn't bulk up as much. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to do that super quick. I'm just waiting for this another. Uh, Julie, oh, Julie Bing, uh, <coughs> been waiting for the book. Hang on. I've been waiting for the book that is easy to understand to be able to make something actually fit. You are an inspiration, oh, Julie. Thank you. Thank now you. I've forgotten how to say it. Moray, is that where it's just with Moray. the place in Scotland? I think oh, okay, that's not a surname. It's not a name. No, I'm oh, not okay. reading out people's surnames, don't worry. <laughs> She's been waiting for the book that is easy to understand. That was my reading, Julie, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy to understand now if you read it properly. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Okay, so all I'm doing now is poking out my uh, corners again with my trusty chopsticks. Okay. So that's it, that's done. So now we've got um, a hole that we need to take care of, okay? Yeah. Um, you could hand stitch it with a ladder stitch, which I show you in the book, or we could go around and do a top stitch again, which obviously keeps it nice and crisp, yeah. like we have done the pouch, but it actually closes that hole. Yeah. So I'm just going to give that a quick, super quick press. I'll use that, I'll tidy up. Da, da, da. It's like supermarket spray. Okay, so this time I am going to bring my needle right across because I want to make sure that I am catching that um, edge there with my little pen. Oh, you're right. Slipping away from me. Okay, I'm just going to go for it now. So I'm just going to go all the way around. So I'm just tracing the edge of my uh, belt strap there. But it's amazing with, with these projects. I mean, they're just straight stitches at the moment. Yes, aren't exactly. They? But you know, if you can do a straight stitch, then you can make your clothes. So it's worth practicing oh, that. We've Hello. got a visitor. Oh, Hello. excuse me. Off you go. <laughs> it was a rather large blue bottle. <laughs> but he just landed on the uh, sewing machine and sat watching on the sewing machine. No, you can't have the sewing machine fly. OK, so I'm just coming towards the last corner now. Oh, we've got plenty of time. One minute to finish this off. Perfect. OK. So, there we have our strap. I'm just going to trim those edges off. I'm using my big scissors, but we've got some really nice embroidery scissors there. Uh, Sue from Buckinghamshire, always posh, Sue. Hi, just bought the book, can't wait. Many congratulations, Jennifer. Love Thank the show you. this morning. Love Sue. Thank you very much. Okay. She's just here for another hour yet, Sue. We have a break, <laughs> we have a break, and then she'll start another oh, project. Oh, yes, I need a glass of water. OK, so this yes. is our pouch. The zip is at the bottom. Yep. OK, so that's important that we do that. Yep, and I'm going to flip it over, so the, the zip is here. So this is where you need to attach your loop to the right side of, the, uh, yes. of, the, of the, the top of the pouch, not the bottom. So now you have to make a decision, the biggest decision. Do I want it to be denim or do I want it to be contrasting? Oh. So it's entirely up to you. Denim. Denim, OK. So we're going to fold it in Contrast. half. Contrast. Contrast. Maybe one, in, one of each. Yeah. <laughs> Got 30 seconds, sorry. So uh, we're going to basically place it together like so. Yeah. 
And then all we do then is just sew a box. So very similar to everything we've done already around the pouch or around the loop, we're securing both of those layers with a box stitch. Yeah. So if I just bring that in there, and you do it at one, in one stitch. So, oh, okay. So you might want to do a bit of hand tacking in there first, but you can see that you've got your box on that side. <clears throat> you've got a box on that side and a box on that because you've gone through all of those layers at once. Yeah. Okay, and that machine is tough enough to go through all of those layers, so it would be no problem at all. That's it. Brilliant. Once you've done those two, you've got your loot. You've got your couch. Congratulations. Right, Thank well, you. I'm going over. Thank you ever so much. Uh, Jennifer's back straight after the break, but don't go anywhere. I'm just going to show you the bundles that we, 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 <laughs> we put together for you for this. But we're going to be doing the crisscross over blouse. But we'll go through all the other projects she's made as well. So thank you, Jennifer. Take a breather. These are my... Oh, Jay. These are my three... Uh, this is the one that um, Jennifer's been using here, this one. You get half a metre of each of the fabrics. So you get the meal fleur, the dashwood meal fleur, and you get the uh, denim-looking fabric there. That's the diamond denim. Uh, you also get the iron-on interfacing. You also get the white zip. And then you get the... Um, there it is, there it all is, the yellow thread as well with that one. £23.95. Then moving on to the next one, again, you get half a metre of the... Uh, well, the thing is, I'm calling this the lining fabric. They're both as, be both as beautiful... I'll keep doing it again. They're both as beautiful as each other, aren't they? S so you get you get this uh, you get the uh, th this beautiful um, like a mandala fabric here, and then the casted loops, twenty three ninety five. You also get the iron on interfacing. You also get the thread, and you get your black zip in that one. There it all is there for twenty three pounds and ninety five pence. And then last but not least, I love this one. I think this is beautiful. This is called red arrows. Red arrows. This is called. You get half a metre of the red arrows, arrows. You get half a metre of this lovely denim look fabric. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous set of fabric, that. Um, and then you also get the iron-on interfacing, the red thread, and you get a different zip with this one. You get a, 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 like a gold, it's not real gold, but metal gold uh, tape tooth blue zip. It's just lovely. £23.95. Right, and uh, if you have a look, this is what we've just made. This is what we've just made. It's the, uh, called the Festival Pouch. Uh, it's one of the 14 projects in Jennifer's book, which you've also got here today. First time you've seen it on telly, and you get it signed, and she's about to start a tour where she's book, book signing and everything like that. Um, she will be back after the break. She will be back after that. What's that, Hannah? Oh, make sure you check out your baskets during the break. We will see you in three minutes from now with this. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Join us on Sunday where our friends at Today's Quilter will be taking over Sewing Quarter. Today's Quilter is the UK's best-selling traditional quilting magazine and it's packed with projects for quilters of all skill levels, in-depth features and interviews with some of your favourite designers. This Sunday, Joy Edgington and new guest Carolyn Forster will bring you a day full of inspiring quilt projects and new techniques for you to learn. Joy will be demonstrating the popular Quilt As You Go kits and guiding you through a Rulers Masterclass and Carolyn will be showing you some jelly roll block techniques from her latest books. So join us on Sunday the 28th of May for today's Quilter Takeover Day. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips.
Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. You can hear Jay shouting at me just there. Just remember your place, Jay, shouting at me like that in the break. Oh, honestly. Um, right, we're carrying on with Jennifer Taylor's book launch, TV book launch. Um, if you get one from us today, you'll get it signed. But I need to tell you that uh, uh, we're more than half, it's three quarters now, is it? Three quarters of the stock has gone. So just be careful. If you've got any basket, you need to check out. Uh, if but now the thing is, right, we're telling Jennifer's book today, but also we're doing this uh, deal with the sewing machine. The sewing machine that Jennifer's actually using, if you have a look at this, is the Elna 540 EX sewing machine. Uh, if you buy that sewing machine today, which is always £449, today if you get that, we will give you a copy. I give you, it is, we will give you you can't be a girl with a sewing machine. Well, no, that's Jennifer. You can't be the girl with a sewing machine. But you can be a girl slash boy, a different girl, different boy, with a sewing machine by Jennifer Taylor. Uh, 14 projects in there, but we will go through it in this hour. Right, OK, so there, that's what, that's what um, you're getting there. That's it there, right? Uh, now, before I go and sit, Jennifer, come over here, come over here, because we're going to talk about, this is what we're making in this hour, isn't it? And you're thinking, well, that's just a st straight... Yes, thank you, Hannah. We have rehearsed while you were in... in uh, <laughs> Spin her around so it's a really plain conservative top of the front with a crisscross. It's Super lovely. It's like a waterfall back, isn't it? Nice, That's isn't really it? lovely. Really lovely. Um, but what I like about this as well, if you wanted to, you could actually reverse it so you have the cross your heart instead. So you it's not too low, is it? No, okay. no. Is that like yours? <clears throat> that one fit you? Yeah. We could get you to do a quick change later. <laughs> um, just to, while we're over here, mm -hmm. these are all projects, aren't they, out of the book that you've, that you've got in, in your book? Yeah, all they? these are out of the book. So this is the kimono dress. So this is when I um, made, um, I first thought of the pattern when I needed an outfit for a gig that I was doing. Um, and I needed to make it super, this is a super, super quick make, but it's just really, really cute, really great for summer. In the really book. In the book. Yeah. Uh, this is my dunga dress. So this is variation. Dunga dress, and this is the original Dunga dress. So, in this beautiful, yes, because uh, this one's got patch pockets, and yours has yeah, got, yeah, so variation of pockets. So, that's a patch, and it's more of a, I want to say, tabard, but yes. you know what I mean, like a tunic. Whereas this one, I've changed it so you've got this sort of like Dunga style type, yeah. with inseam pockets as well. Love um, these, you like those ones, don't uh, they're you? They're gorgeous because um, one, of, <laughs> one of the James Bond films I did, we were in uh, uh, Thailand, and we had to do uh, like uh, old fishermen and everything, and these yeah. are these are these are taken uh, or inspired by. That are the um, the fishermen's trousers, Absolutely, aren't they? The wrap round yeah. trousers. Well, these the reason why I um, wanted to make these uh, when I was at university uh, studying dance. I used to live in a pair that I'd bought from a, a festival or something. Yes, yeah. And I literally wore them to death. They they no longer exist. Yes. And I I, I remember them in my head, and I just was, wanted to recreate them again. And, and then so I figured out how you needed to do that. When them. you pack your bag to go home. This <laughs> afternoon, make sure they're in there because Hannah's got our producer Hannah's got her eye on those. <laughs> I'll teach you how to make them, Hannah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, she started off. She started a kimono, so maybe she could do the trousers. Yeah, next. absolutely. Oh, um, she's never finished the kimono. Um, that's a pair, that's a jumper. That's an old jumper. Wow. So this is what again with the book. I'm trying to go through as many different types of material as possible. So everyone thinks you can't sew with knit, yes. as in woolen. Or knit. you cut a jumper and it unravels to nothing. No, it doesn't, and, and, and that's proof. So this is using the bottom of the jumper and then these oh, sleeves Oh, we'll look at that in the, the book uh, in a second, yeah. Uh, this is one we've... Uh, have I seen you wearing this? I'm not sure I if I... live I've, in that coat. I was going to say, I've seen you wearing <laughs> it. I live in that coat. In fact, I think you went on the very first day I met you when, you, when you walked in. Probably. I'm here. She's like, I'm here, everybody. <laughs> Uh, I get so many comments on that, but that's one blanket. That's a that's single, it. single blanket. Um, and but I've also made the gelée in a beautiful felt that we did. Gelée. The gelée, the gelée. Uh, that we did, and a lovely wool felt that we did on the show. Exactly. All right, you go and prepare because I want to see your mood, your mood book. I want to see okay, that in yeah. this hour. I'll just show you the fabrics. <clears throat> what basically to make that little top, we've done bundles of four little fabrics, two meters. You can get there. Oh no, we'll ask Jennifer about sizing in a minute. But each of these bundles are two metres of the frou-frou-fleurie 
uh, fabrics there. They're lovely, aren't they? They're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But you have seen them before. But what we've done is we've done it in a bundle of two metres for you to make that lovely top. OK, I'm just letting them carry on across and then I shall waft. So look, you get two metres of this gorgeous fabric. It's, such a, it's very the essence of Liberty Lawn, isn't it, this time? Look, look two metres, you get two metres. Right, this one is colour 21. Colour, they don't give them names, they just give them colours. Now, is this the Helen Mirren one? Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. So you get two metres for £38.95. That one is colour 21. Then there's this one. They're, they're so lovely. They're so lovely, these. Oh, you're right over there. Yeah. Again, two metres. There's a lot of fabric in there, isn't there? That's lovely, isn't it? They're all, they're all, they're going to drape so beautifully. They're, they're, they're like the perfect fabric for this uh, crossover blouse. Uh, this is Frou Frou Fleury, colour 20. Colour 20. But when we've shown you all them, if you go to the website, you'll be able to see a little picture of each. Oh, sorry, scratch my nose. You see a little picture of each of those. Then I've got this one. No, this is the Helen Mirren one, isn't it? Here we go. Right, here we go, look at this one. Oh, that's gorgeous from a distance, isn't it, that one? Really beautiful from a distance. Uh, this is the Helen Mirren one. I think Helen Mirren would look lovely in this. Uh, 38 95 for two metres, frou frou, fleury. This is colour number eight. That's the lovely damson, deep, deep damson colour. That's <laughs> lovely. They all say a different story, don't they? Very along the same lines. <clears throat> Excuse me, but they all tell a different story. Oh, coffee today. I know, it's... You've brought it into the I building, Jennifer Taylor. Right, last but not least, this is gorgeous. Look at that one. That Look at that. Beautiful. That is stunning. Fru Fru, that's colour number one. Colour number one. Aren't they lovely? Beautiful. Right, I'll leave those for Jay to come and drape. I'll get Jay to drape them artistically while I grab the blouse. I'm going to take it off. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it didn't go as far as Sashay I thought away. it was going to go. Sashay away. Uh, there's a still of it there as well. This is so cute. Now, ha what inspired you with this one then? This oh, top. no, before, before I ask about the blouse, you were showing us this in prep earlier, I this was, lovely yeah. book. And I just want you to show the viewers how, well, how it all started, how I started really. So, when I, um, after I made my wedding dress, I just started making little bits and bobs. And um, I really wanted to kind of have a memory of what I was making. So, I decided to make a fabric diary. Um, and this is literally like my diary, my sewing life yeah. in a book. Um, and some of the projects that are in the book come from my fabric diary. So again, like I said, um, so a lot of these projects are I've made. They weren't inspired to make the book. Yes. I'd already made them. Yes. They're part of my journey. And I, and I felt that in showing you how what I've made and physically and when I've made them and what I've made them for, it would be the inspiration for you to, to bring that into your life. Of course. Um, so um, this is my fabric diary. Um, so there's one here which I always smile at. I, my husband, if anyone knows him, he looks like Cat Stevens. He's got long hair. Oh, OK. He's a throwback from the 70s, definitely. And he said that he wanted like a Mary Poppins jacket. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah. So he picked out what could only be described as a sticker rock fabric. It was literally... When did Mary Poppins wear that? No, you know, I'm not... I'm thinking, like, when they're on the boats. Oh, yes, 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 I know. Like a stripy blazer. Like a, a stripy, a stripy yeah, blazer, yeah, yes. like the blazers yeah. in Mary Poppins. So he picked out this fabric, and it's like a sticker rock fabric, and I made him this sticker rock jacket. And I remember doing a gig in, in, in Birmingham, I say in town, we're in Birmingham, um, at uh, the Hare and Hounds in King's Heath. And oh, that, that's the village where Hannah lives. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And we were in the, in the pub, and a gentleman came up to my husband and said, excuse me, is that a, an original Taylor Taylor? And I was like, oh! Oh, my word. Because they recognised the jacket from my Facebook page. And I was like, oh my life. Oh, I, wow. I was like, yeah, that, that, that's me, that's me. <laughs> um, but it was the project that I took to the sewing bee auditions and got through with it as well as my sewing, as, as well as my wedding oh, dress. So that's in there. Another memories. one that I, I think is a, a really nice one is this one here. This is my uh, little nephew, Raya. And I was on the sewing bee at the time and I missed his christening because of it. So I made him a little shirt to wear in this beautiful fabric, not oh, too dissimilar from no, what we have today. This, yeah. And uh, this is a little thank you card saying thank you very much for my special day and my cool Taylor Taylor made shirt. Oh. So everything's in there. but. 
The one that I wanted to show you here is this one. This is the, this is that one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is the gypsy skirt. So um, this is my mum one. This reminds me of my mum. So there's a bit on there. And then obviously my tassel top's there. So everything in there is is what's inspired me in projects that I've done and, and sort of milestones, if you like. Yes. And they're all in my fabric diary. So what I would suggest, I'd suggest to, to the viewers are when you start doing your sewing, take little swatches and, and make notes. Like, for instance, when you're, I don't know, let's say now you're sewing careful, this. Because when we said this earlier, <laughs> in prep earlier, she won't use a swear word. We'll make sure she's not going to but make notes. So if you're going to do something difficult, like this cotton, it was beautiful to sew with. Great, you know, wonderful. Whereas something with this, you might go, oh, I need a walking foot with that. I struggled with this. Yes. So you can make notes about what you're doing. And the same here with my book of seams. I'm, I've made little stitch samples. So I know what they look like and how they finish. And again, that features in the book. So go ahead, make your own diaries at home. Yes. It's, it's, it's nice to look back on the memories and you go, oh, I remember when I made that. Because for whatever reason, it might not fit you anymore or you gave it away or, or whatever but you've yeah. got that little memento in your little diary you see now this may talk about memories when i first started at wimbledon school of art one yeah, of our yeah. all of our teachers were people who were already making costumes and designing costumes and we had one a gorgeous lady called fran bristow and her first lesson was different seams ah. and now some of the girls that i was on the course with had already got degrees in needlework and things like that so you had to do a plain seam they were like <laughs> oh honestly I have to and we had to do it take it up to fran and if you were good enough she'd then say right come back and do a pinking so and they were really? all finish <laughs> and i was still on plain seam at the beginning <laughs> oh, um, but it was just it's just fantastic uh, but all of that all of that is in the book yeah is in the book all that is in the book which all these little tips, all these little stories, all in the book. Girl, well, it's all personal touch, isn't it? Girl with a sewing machine by our very own Jennifer Taylor. If you buy it from us today at 12 95 you will get a signed <laughs> copy. First time it's been seen on telly. Yay! And it's, uh, uh, she hasn't gone on, a, uh, on her um, tour, tour of yet, signing, no. signing it. She's in Waterstones on June the 11th in Birmingham. Right, now they've got a message I've got to read to you. Okay. It's from <laughs> Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Good morning, Joan, 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 Joan Jennifer. Right, she's been a quilter for, for 14 years. Okay. She's always been afraid of dressmaking patterns. Right, last month after seeing you doing an, an excellent demonstration and explanation, I bought my first dressmaking pattern. Good luck with your new book. See, that, that, well was, your whole, that was your whole point, your whole well raise and picture, wasn't it? Well right. Stuff. I want a picture when you're done. Send it in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We love having your pictures. <laughs> oh, We've got the most beautiful it. quilt picture of the day from Jackie, who, to remember her husband, she, I was doing that the thread, you know, where you print her. Yes. And she printed off all these pictures of memories of her husband oh. and then put them into a patchwork for her bed and was everything. Was that on Facebook? Oh, I don't know if it was on Facebook or not. It was like I'm a, sure like a maroon it. colour. And then there were pictures. It was just really it was lovely. It, they're in the centre. I think I have seen it. It was lovely. Yeah, so, really so, but just things, things like that. And then another lady, whose name I'm not going to remember now, it'll come to me, had done, a, had done a, an embroidery of her friend's house. Her friend was moving house. Yes. She'd taken a picture of it. Yes, I saw that. Anyway, awesome. Anyway. Awesome. Right, OK. So, now, so, so let's uh, well, I'll just have a look at the back of the top. Because this is the... Well, the backslash front, you just said. Yeah, so uh, if you wanted a bit more of a, a, a fresher, younger look, then you can easily uh, reverse it because the... Um, or oh, a the saucy cross, look. A saucy look. The cross in the front, uh, in the back, sorry, is not a very deep one. Um, right. So it, is, it, it will cover up your modesty. Um, but the reason why this top was inspired by work, um, I was fed up... I used to, obviously, before I started doing sewing, I, I worked in an office. And oh, I was right. just fed up of boring office clothes. So I, I obviously needed something quite conservative in the front, you know, because you're having meetings yes, and all that of kind course. of stuff. But then this, this little added detail in the back just made me feel a little bit more like myself, you yes, know, something yeah. that I, I can't know that I'd want to wear. I can't imagine you in an office somehow. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Looking back now, I'm like, I can't believe I did that for 10 years. A debt collector in an office. Oh, right. Isn't it? Before we go any further, you need to start, to, if you've got the book <clears throat> in your basket, you need, you need, you need to check out because we're going to have people disappointed. We're going to have people missing out. So if you've got it in your basket, please, please, please check out. I'll keep you updated. Hannah will keep us updated during this hour. Okay. But we could have a disappointment <laughs> situation on our hands. We don't want that. No. Okay. Right. So... This one is out of the section where we are. Remember, we talked through where we went from doing up cycled makes, yep, or quick and easy makes, through to taking oh, was, your own can measurements. Can I just say that's a lovely picture of you oh, and your, the skirt you. you made for your mum? Look at that lovely picture. Aww. Is that in your back garden? It's not. It's in the middle of Tunbridge Wells somewhere. Oh, 
Anyway, anyway, I'll go back to I this one. I do cringe sorry. when I look at um, some Why? of them. Why? Oh, I, I, hate yeah. <laughs> I hate looking at pictures of myself. I hate <laughs> yeah. watching myself on telly <laughs> TV, and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. <clears throat> OK, apparently my director hates watching me on telly as well, so <laughs> he'll be having a slapping later. <laughs> oh, I like you, John. Thank you, thank you. Right, hang on, I can't find it now. <laughs> There's a lot of projects in there, isn't there? If you want to send in a nasty letter to him, he's called Timothy. <laughs> right. <laughs> And you should see what Here he's wearing we today. Right, so it's called the Chris Cross got Back, cross back top. top. Okay. But what's, why, what's this got to do with it? Because I saw wow. this when I was looking at it. It's a picture of a vest there. So, this section of the book is about making clothes from scratch. Yes. No pattern. So you don't need to download anything with my book. Everything you need is in the book, okay? Right. So what the, um, how I learned to sew was to either take clothes that I know fit me, yeah. use those as base blocks, and then create from there, which is what we're going to do today with the, with the, um, the crossback top. Right. Or it would be to take certain me measurements and then use that to then make my garments. So I'm going to show you both methods, whether it's using old cl clothes or just body measurements. Yeah. So again, going back to this, this book will fit all. Any size, doesn't matter. Tall, short, doesn't matter. It will fit you. As okay. long as clothes that you have fit you or you've got body measurements and a tape measure, you can make these clothes. Brilliant. Okay? Right. Um, so the crossback top came from this top. Ordered my book for my eight-year-old granddaughter <laughs> who is keen to learn sewing. Thanks. This will help her in the future. That's from oh, Christine and Ken. I can't wait. That's amazing. Right. Okay, so well, this, nice. this crossback top is just a top that I, I can't even remember where I purchased it from, but it just fits me really lovely. Right. So if you're going to use anything as a base um, uh, project, make sure the fabric isn't stretched because, as we all know, it will stretch. Unless yeah. it's a T-shirt like this one, it, it's close to my body. I know that this would be a bad one to use for a block. Right. Whereas this one is fine. You can use um, stretch material, but if a T-shirt just sits nicely, you can see that it's not pulling or stretching anywhere over the body. Yeah. Okay. So you can use T-shirts, but just be cautious. Don't wear use ones that's, that are too tight. Unless you are using stretched material. Yes, of course. Okay, but in yeah. this case, we're not. We're using that beautiful frou-frou uh, frou fabric. Okay, so this is the pack. This is the uh, top that I'm using as my base. Right. So what I would suggest you do, and again with the book, it does say this: to put the garment on and just make a note of certain things, like do I want it to be a V-neck or do I want it to be round neck? Where does it finish on my shoulder, and do I want it to be bigger or smaller in the strap? Yes. Do I want it to be longer or shorter? So you know in your head, this is what it looks like now, but how am I going to make that different? Do I want the back scooped or not, for mm -hmm. instance? So this is the base pattern. OK, so um, you can see there's no darts in this as well, either. It's no. just a very, very simple yes. top. OK, so to make my pattern, what I did is I, I made sure that I'd um, given it a nice press. I'm basically bringing... <laughs> unlike today. Oh, unlike today. <laughs> But the main thing is that you're bringing those seams together. So you're matching them up. Right. OK, so if you want to pop some pins... So have you got in, it inside out? So I've got it inside out because I just find it easier to, to find the edges of the, the material. Yeah. You're feeling the fabric. Well, it, it looks like suede from here. It does, doesn't it? No, yeah. no, it's just a, it's a, a sort of uh, a mustard cotton yes. and with some embroidery because I do love a bit of embroidery detail. Good, because i got a whole in our embroidery after oh, this. Oh, I'm so tuning into that. <clears throat> I'm really getting into my embroidery, uh, actually. It's very relaxing, isn't it? Is, it is, right. and it's just a really nice way, well, like, the, like this top shows. It's a very simple, plain top, but it's really effective. And I like that yes. they've cut out. Yes. That's a nice little tip for yeah. you. After you've done your embroidery, just cut out some of the triangles. <laughs> OK, so there's my top. It's all, all pinned in place. This is where you need to get some paper. Right. Okay, so we've got two different types of paper we today. Have. Uh, we've got the plain paper or the uh, one square centimetre paper, square paper. Yes. Either or is perfect for this, either or. Uh, I didn't get Rosemary's message, by the way. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> OK, so you've used the plain paper I've and I've plain. got the squared paper here. This is a squared £3.45. You get um, a squared uh, 87 by 61 centimetres in there. Three sheets. Oh, hang on, three sheets. Yeah, there's loads. 87 by 61, but three, it should say times three in there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You get three sheets of that size in there, just so you know, right? Super, super lots. OK, so... And then the plane, I haven't got back to the plane because she's opened it. <laughs> so sorry. Do you want me to get you some water? You're right. Yeah, can I have a quick sip? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, now, this is embarrassing showing our sippy cups. <laughs> oh, so sorry. <clears throat> right, OK, right. so all I'm doing at the moment, I'm not, you could go direct to fabric, but I like to make oh, the no, pattern. Oh, no, 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 yes. So let's, let's get the pattern down. So yeah. all I'm doing is placing the fold of my fabric, which is my garment, onto the edge of the paper. Yeah. OK, so it's not folded, it's a single sheet. 
okay? And I've just trimmed it down to size. Yeah. What I would say before you, because this fabric, uh, fabric, because the paper's been folded, give it a good press yes. with the iron, like give it a good iron to make sure all the creases are out, okay? And all I've done is gone around with a pencil and marked exact, around exactly where, exactly it is. where the garment yeah. is. So when you get to the, um, the sleeves, the one thing to notice here, you can see here very clearly that the front yeah. is very different to the back. Yeah. Okay. So what I did is I peeled away. So you can see there, I've peeled away and I've drawn the front section. Yeah. Okay. So you just need to peel the garment away. Once you've done the main, I'd leave that bit till last, but um, you just need to trace around it. Yeah. Once you've done that, you can get rid of that top now because you yeah. know that that's, that's the blueprint. That's, that's where we started yes. from. Yes. Okay, so the next thing that you're probably going to need is one of these. Now, these are really, 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 really handy. Okay, this is a, a French curve. Yes. Um, and basically, in short, it's going to give you nice, clean metric. lines. This is a metric one. Yeah. We have got the... Um, we have got, we've got them in metric and imperial, but we're just using the metric one at the moment. So there's our imperial one. Yeah. Okay, there's a metric one. Either way, it's doing the same job, it's just the measurements are different. Yes, exactly. Okay. So they're identical, apart <laughs> from the, me the measurements on them. They are. Well. And what's really, really great from this, as you can see from the back, so you're like, what, what, what do I use that for? Why can't I just use a plate? You could yeah. just use a plate, but then you're not going to get the really subtle curves that we're looking for for yes, dressmaking, exactly. okay? And you can see the different types of ways that you can use that French curve. So it is really worth investing mm. one, especially if you're going to get into making your own clothes. Well, considering the, uh, the Imperial one, well, now this is, we don't understand this. The Imperial one's 9.95 and the metric one's 10.95. So we're not quite sure <laughs> why that is, but that's obviously what comes from the manufacturers. But mm -hmm. anyway, so. So that's that. But you can use it for so many things. Once you get used to it, <laughs> you look at it first of all and you think, well, what am I going to use that for? But actually, it's useful for, for so many things. Anyway. So many things. OK, so the first thing we need to do, because if we were just to cut this out and make a, a complete carbon copy, which you can do, that's another thing that you could do yeah, rather yeah, than yeah, adapting. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to take it further by adapting, but you could just cut that out and then do it again with the back, and then you've got a, a replica of that top in a different fabric, because you love it. Why uh, not? Can I just say, there are less than 40 books remaining, which might sound a lot, but you don't know how many we started with. We're going to run out. We're going to run out today. Day. Definitely run out okay. today. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, if we just cut this and made it up, it would come up small and we don't want that, do we? So we need to add on seam allowances. Right. So that's the first thing. Uh, so, can I ask one <clears> quick <throat> question then? Because you, you said there's a different, there's a different, at the armhole, there's a different for the front and the back. Yeah. So have you done a, a different pattern piece for the front and the back? Or have you... Yes, my darling. I shall show you in a moment. I'll shut up. It's very good, you know. No, I'll shut very up. good. So this is the front because it's on the fold, and I've done the front armhole. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and add the seam allowances now, rather than do it later. So when I do a copy for my back, it's already been done. All right, so then. You, you're on. I'll you're be on quiet. the right track. I'll no, be quiet. no, it's a good, good question. So on here, you've got your um, centimeters here. Yes. So you could just quickly go in and do uh, the 1.5 by just bringing that across like that. You see, uh, you're, that's five eighths of an inch, isn't it? One point five centimeters. Yeah. So it's, it depends on which one you prefer to work in. But you see, I, I'd get the in, I'd get the imperial because I, I work in inches. Yeah, it was so difficult actually doing the book because I work in inches. Um, but obviously, as you know, we have to use the uh, metric. Yes. So having to convert it all was a bit like, that just sounds weird. Yes, exactly. OK, so you need to add centimetres on here, as well as in the neckline, as well as the shoulder. Now here, we might want to change that, which is our, our neckline here. But another thing here is that depending on um, what you're going to be doing with this section, if you were just going to do a standard hem, you might want to add more than 1.5. Yes, yeah, you, you need more than 1.5 of the bottom, yeah. But with this garment, I, I'm binding it so I would do a 1.5. Oh, oh okay, right, fine, okay. So, yes. But again it's your garment so you can do what you like yes. with it. So the great thing about the curve is if I just bring this around this way is that I can start altering the shape of the neckline just by simply using yes. the curve. Yes. So this this is the V from your vest that we, we took the copy <laughs> from, right. isn't it there? So on this one you're thinking I don't want it to be as plunging at the front. I want it to be and you've used the curve. Uh, and I've used the curve yeah. to do that. Um, so now we've got that, and I've added my seam allowances on. You can cut that out. Yes. And then you're ready to go to the next step. Okay. So all I've done now is got another piece of paper. So let's unfold that for you. Okay. So this time the fabric is on uh, the fabric. The paper is on the fold. Right. And the reason why it's on the fold is because I'm going to be doing that cross back. Can I ask? Are all these instructions you're talking through Absolutely. now? They're all in the book. All aren't they? in the book. Okay. Everything is in the book. And um, so this one is on the fold. So if you were going to do a plain top, 
you just wanted to replicate what you already have, then you wouldn't need to do the fold at yes. all because you would be folding the fabric. Whereas because I'm crossing in the back, I need a left and a right, yes. which is why I folded the paper. So all I did is take a trace of my original pattern and transferred that onto here. So because you've got the seam allowances all included in that first pattern, you don't need to do any more of yeah. that work. That's already done. Books are down to the 20. We've only got in our 20s now in the book. 20s in the book. Oh, have we got any... Um, I hey. remember being in my 20s. It was like last oh, year. Oh, I need some paper scissors. Oh, I do. paper scissors, Jay. Please, Jay. I don't, want to, I don't use the fabric scissors. No, exactly. Um, can I ask about the armhole at this point, yeah. then? Yeah, OK. So what I would do, if you're going to adjust um, the um, shoulder, shoulder seam. seams, then, again, you would just need to reinstate your armhole using this section. But the tip is... Thank you, Jay. Um, the tip is, is that all of your garments... So I'm going to cough in a second. <clears throat> All of your garments are um, shallower in the front. So if you think about your arm, it always moves forward, doesn't it? So the, the curve here is going to be a lot deeper than the back yes. because your arms don't really tend to go that way. So you're going Unless you're Jay. Unless you're Jay. Yeah. Um, he's very flexible, though, isn't yeah. he? Um, so um, on the back, it, do, it would be less slight. So whereas my curve is quite deep here, this is yes. where the original uh, front of the curve was because my arm is moving in that section. Sorry if you can see that. I'll just get the pencil and bring it around. So there's the curve there. That's the front curve. Yes. This curve could probably be more like that. Yes. OK. Yeah. That's the difference. Yes. Yeah. OK. So I'm going to cut this out. Which is why this, this ruler is so brilliant, because you can do that by hand as well. But if you don't really know, then you just use the ruler Absolutely. <clears throat> to join the, join the dots, as it were. Less than 20 books now. Ooh. <laughs> We're halfway through this show and less than 20 books left. They're going to sell out by the end of the show. If you've got it in your basket, please check out. Please, please, please check out. Oh, that's satisfying. What, the cutting or the books? Uh, both. I was thinking the paper. Oh, that's nice. It's nice having a pair of sharp scissors. OK, so I'm just going to make a little cut here. Morning, Jennifer. You're a true inspiration. You've encouraged me to wear my cloth kit swing top I recently made for the first time to wear, and I've lost the rest of it. That's Sarah from Hampshire. Oh, thank you, Sarah. So there's a picture of your cloth kit. I want to see it. Uh, I, we still didn't get rosemary's, but I've got one coming from Pat at the moment. That I'm not letting you see until I've read it. <coughs> Pat, me. Jennifer Taylor, inspirational <coughs> genius. That's all it says. Keep going, keep going, otherwise she'll okay. start crying. That'll be so, it then. So now this is where we start adapting things. Right, so what did you do at the neck? I didn't right, see what okay. you did so at the neck. All I've done is just made a note here where my um, shoulder seam finishes. Right. Because what I'm going to do now is start altering. So I've just cut across. Oh, okay, just, it, okay, it's okay, just okay. A, a nothing cut, yes, OK? Yes. This is where my original neckline is if I was going to be repeating my original top. Yes. But I don't want to do that. Yeah. OK? So this is where I'm going to start getting creative with the back oh, of my top. Oh, there we go. So again, this is where you need your curve. So what we're going to do is start creating the cross your heart part right. or the cross your back. Yes, so, <laughs> um, this cross is where your lungs. You... <laughs> I don't know what's at the back. This is where you use your curve. So depending on, on what, you, what kind of shape you want, it's entirely up to you. I actually quite like where it was positioned, like, my, I know how deep my top goes in the back. Yeah, exactly. So I want it to be quite close to that, but I need it to be curving around. So you could go in freehand, or you can use your curve. Otherwise, what happens is you get like, uh, 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 and yes, we don't want exactly. that. So there's that one done. And then I need to do the one that goes all the way down into this section here. Right. OK. So again, this is where I use my curve. So I think the measurement here... Three, four, five. Yeah, it was about nine centimetres. OK. With seam allowance. The instructions are in the book. Um, so now Remember these rules. The metric rule is 10.95. The imperial one's 9.95. So what I'm doing now is just adjusting the curve to get the kind of shape that I want. So if I don't want it to be quite curvy, I'm using the more where it's running off to the straight. Yes. So now I'm, I'm paying attention to that corner here and that corner, but while keeping my pencil in position. So you can yeah. see I'm, I'm adjusting that now until I can find that's where I want to be. Yeah. And just finish that off. OK. So now we've got our shoulder coming into the side seam and then swerving back into the bottom of the garment. So now I can cut that because I've made the shape I need. Yes. <clears throat> 
Oh, better not put that in the way of your sharp scissors. The thing about doing a paper pattern like this is once you've actually cut it out, you haven't ruined, you haven't done, because if you go straight onto the fabric, that's you cutting the fabric out. Yeah. You can hold this up to yourself and think, oh, is it going to sit properly? Is it going to hang Absolutely. properly? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I know that when I pop that onto my back, I'm doing it from the front here, where it's going to be positioned on my body. Now, so this has got seam allowance on it here, <clears throat> yep. but this doesn't need seam allowance on here because you're binding, I'm binding that it, bit and right. this bit here. So when we talked about you could wear it back to front, you can see that it's... it's oh, yes, because that one will come down across it. Also, you've taken it to the V of the vest and you know that that vest... It, if, you, if you thought that vest was a bit plunging... <clears throat> I could take it Oh, off. book announcement. Single figures of the book, right, single figures of the book remaining on its own. <coughs> right, there is going to be disappointment because there are nine books left. Right, at the right, there are nine <laughs> books available and 49 people have got it in their basket. I'm so, so sorry. So 40 of you are going to be disappointed. I'm so sorry. If you don't check out, 40 of you will be disappointed. OK, right, now, before you go on to the next yeah. stage, I'm just going to go and talk Absolutely, about the fabrics yeah, and I'll be back. All right. Right, so, very quickly, these are the four fabrics we're offering. We've, we've put two metres of each of the fleury frou-frous together for you, uh, just so you can make this lovely top. Oh, I must, I must talk to Jennifer as well. Two metres, was two metres enough fabric to make the size that you were wearing, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, two metres should be more than enough fabric to make the sizes. Um, in the book, it says one and a half... Um, one to one and a half meters, but my salvage to salvage is really big. So there is a section about fabric and yes. how much. So you, you need, need that little bit more. So but, because but the salvage to salvage is a little bit shorter, we've gave you the extra half meter, so you'd be, you'd be covered. Okay, so these are all four different colorways here. Now they don't give them names, sadly, in the fleury. Uh, so we're starting off with this one, which is number twenty-one. That's number 21. You get two metres for £38.95. Moving swiftly along to this one. Well done, Michael. Oh, what's he saying? He's muttering on the camera. Oh, yes, I forgot to tell you. Do you do the camera on your film as well? Oh, he did the directing and the filming on his award-winning film. There's single figures of this bundle, number 20, colour number 20, single figures now, single figures, moving swiftly along to the Helen Mirren. This is the one that Jennifer's about to be using to make a top out of. That one's number... Eight. That's number eight, two metres number eight for £38.95. And, and last but not least, this is number one, isn't it? This is colour number one, isn't it? That's all right, you cough away, Jennifer, you know. There you go, that's colour number one. Uh, if you look on the web, that looks much pinker than it is in real life. It's like a crushed raspberry. Crushed raspberry colour. Oh, oh, OK, OK. Also, don't forget, you can still get the book if you buy the sewing machine, because there's a limited amount have been allocated to the sewing machine bundle. Elna 540EX sewing machine, and you get the book for free for £12.95. That's very, <coughs> very limited, and that's today and today, today only. <clears throat> right, carrying on. OK, so we have our back with our cross back, yes. and we've got our front. Right. Okay, so before we get to the fabric, we just need to make a few points of reference, okay? So we know that this is the centre of the, the back because we had the fabric on the fold, yes. didn't we? Okay, and obviously I know this is the fold because it says it's a fold. Yes. And also, because I've drawn the original neckline in here, and I know that the neck, I wanted to keep the original neckline in the back as well, it's, a, it's the same with the yep. top. Again, this is why it's important just to check your garment points of reference, what am I looking for? And yeah. um, I'm going to line and overlay these up. OK, so you can see there's my neckline in the front. Yeah. It's the same as the neckline in the back. Yeah. They meet here and it's bang on the line there. So yeah. if I just draw that crease in if you can't see That's it. That's like your centre back line, isn't That's it? That's my line centre back there, yeah. line. So I'm lining it up with my centre front line. Yeah. So now when I come over to this section, I can see where my piece that makes the wrap goes into that side seam, and that's the point of reference that yes. I'm looking for, OK? So I'm just going to draw two little marks there. So when I come to my fabric, 
I know where I need to be yes. popping that section. Because obviously with its paper, it lays flat. Yes, it behaves itself, whereas it's fabric, fabric doesn't do that. So we the need these notions. So I'm just making those two points of reference so I know what I need to do Brilliant. later on. Okay, so there you have your pattern. All right. So all you need to do now is pop it on your beautiful fabric and cut it out. Right, which I'm hoping you've already done because we've only got 20 done. minutes left. I've already done that. So I'll pop that to one side. Yes. Okay, so here we have our garment. You see, now, I take things that, like that completely for granted because my background is a pattern cutter. <laughs> but that was so brilliantly explained because you just kept it really simple. Mm -hmm. And pattern cutting, a lot of people are frightened of pattern cutting, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, because yeah. you just think, well, I can't do pattern oh, cutting. Can't do I can't see a 3D piece on a flat piece. Whereas yeah, yeah. you've just made that look very simple. Anyway, carry Thank on. Thank you. It's okay. freezing in here, isn't it? it You're is right. Chilly. Yeah, I'll get her, Jade. Okay. I'm really sorry that I can't. This was fabric coffee. bundle number three. Uh, oh, no, 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 don't no, ignore no, no, number three. The third one I showed you, it's actually <laughs> colour number eight. Jay. <coughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so it's important that we have two back pieces. So there's one. Yes. Here. So that's the one piece there. Let's wait for you to see me. Yeah. There you go. There's one. This is the second one. So you can see that's giving you that cross back. So now we have a back to our yes. garment. Okay. And this is the front section, but it is still on the fold, okay? Yeah. So um, you'll need to cut the front section out first at the top of the fabric because you want that fabric on the fold. Yes. And then you'll probably need to open out your fabric to then cut. So you'll have to cut twice. Yes. It'll be one, two, three, yes. okay? And then the leftover fabric, don't throw that away because <gasps> we're going to make... As if. <gasps> One, as if, and two, you need it for your binding. binding. Now, oh, if you want to do a contrast binding, yeah, I was going to say a contrast binding oh, would look lovely as well, wouldn't it? Especially in that pinky yeah. one, that, uh, the, the one that's closest to us. That would be gorgeous. That's um, number one. That number one, one number one. Um, so you keep your fabric so you can make some binding of afterwards. Okay, so the, the composition of it is, again, really, really simple. So first of all, we need to do is to take our front garment. So I'm just going to put the fabric so the right side is facing me. Yeah. I'm going to take one of my back pieces. This is my shoulder bit here. This is the shoulder section. So that goes on top of there. Pop a little pin in. Perfect fabric for this uh, project, isn't it? Because it's got that lovely, light, drapey kind of lawn feel to it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then you can go ahead and do the other shoulder as well. But don't do anything with the side seams. Don't do anything with the side seams. Don't yeah. watch, though. Don't do anything with the side no, seams. No, 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 no. Just the shoulder seams. Okay, so I'm going to go in now. So all my patterns are 1.5 seam allowances. But yeah. If you prefer to work with one centimetre, that's fine, but just make sure you keep a note of things. <clears throat> and all of these stages, they're all um, are listed, aren't they, in, in the book and everything? Everything's listed in the book. So everything from doing the paper part of it. So it, there's even a section on... Once you've done it, like putting it onto, a, uh, onto your body or onto your mannequin and, and adjusting on yourself, mm -hmm. like how would you do that and, and, and transferring that across so it's symmetrical. So everything's covered in the, in the book, absolutely. Okay, so uh, now, you've also, uh, unless you're using yellow thread, you wouldn't do that in real life. It's only because it's just from the last show, <laughs> It's from isn't the last it? show. Yeah. We didn't have a chance to change it over. Uh, why did you choose? Because all of our designers, whenever, um, whenever our, any of our designers do a project, we give them a choice of which sewing machine they want to use. Why have you chosen the 540? For me, the 540, I think, is a great one um, because it's, um, it's, it's easy and simple enough for beginners. However, it's got things on there that will take you to the next level, so it's going to last you. It's a machine that is going to last you well, a long they time. They all say, don't they, don't buy a sewing machine for where you're at at the moment. Buy a sewing machine going. for where you want to be where or where you're, you're going to. Going. Yeah. So um, while we're talking about the machine, so this one you've got, your, obviously, your straight stitches, which we're using on this project. Yeah. But another thing that I go through in the book is, is finishing your seams. So yes. we always talk about doing the quick method of pinking. But on your sewing machine here, you have got overlock stitches in here. So if you haven't got an overlocker, which is one that would cut and then bind as it sews yes. it, you can mimic that with your sewing machine. Yeah. Oh, it just doesn't cut it, does it? Just, it just you doesn't just cut finish it, no, edges. but it still does the binding. Buttonholes are a big one, you know. Why do a hand one when you can zip through that straight away? And also, away? in my day, well, my, day, my sewing machine, I have to do the stitches at the top, then I go down one side, then I have to align it to the stitch at the bottom, and then go all the way back up. This, you just, you, it comes with a foot and you put the button yeah. in and it just does it put all the Put the button in and then it, it does it to size, which is perfect. And again, it's speedy. Brilliant. Um, it's also got a selection of um, st uh, stretch 
stitch in there. So again, people think that you need an overlocker to do stretch materials. Yes, yeah. You don't. You just need a sewing machine and a ballpoint needle Comes and you're most, off to go. Most incredible um, <coughs> booklet of instructions as well, this. And, um, yeah. and remember, if you buy a sewing machine and some fabric, still only £2.95 posted packaging. So it's just Bargain, brilliant, isn't it? it? Anyway. Sorry, um, and the last thing I wanted to say is decoratives. Oh, yes. Decoratives. Oh, yes, decoratives. We've got yes. a wonderful array of decorative stitches. Okay, so we have our We've done the two shoulders. shoulder seams are in place now. Okay, so now we've got our wrap section. Yes. We just need to figure out how we're wrapping it. So if I just move that out of the way. So we're going to place this one down. So remember we did the notches? Yes. Oh, put we, put, we transferred them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but not on that side. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you? I've just had it, didn't I? Don't know, did you? Oh, dear. Oh, it's this bit in the book as well. Yeah, this bit's in the book. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Well, it's not a mistake. It's just that we're rushing you through it. and you just... But then you can just place your pattern <laughs> down again, can't you? And yeah. mark it through. I've marked in the, um, on one of them, but not the oh, other not one. Oh, not the other so one. I can find that. So I've just la lined up my side seams. This is the colour eight, the darker of the florals. Okay. Like, um... <laughs> Lovely purpley maroon. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Juice, excuse me, gorgeous. maroon colour. Okay, so let's. I hope back. you haven't passed on your cold to oh, me, Jennifer not. Taylor. It does seem it's hanging on. Oh, that's this the last cold thing. It's hanging on. Okay, so fabric facing up, front yes. is facing up. So this is the first part of the wrap. So I'm lining up my side seam on that one, but I'm not doing anything with it yet. And then on the side, you've got the two notches. So yes. I know that's where my fabric needs to go. And this is where this is where you say, that's why you notch it, because the fabric doesn't work the same as a piece of paper does. Because no. that if you just followed that, you'd have <coughs> actually done it, you'd somewhere. have done it down there. It but would it, pull and drag the garment, exactly. absolutely. Exactly. So um, just need to find your notches and make sure that they're there. So that's the first bit. And then the second bit is bringing that I'll over. And then doing the same on this side. So again, finding the notches. Placing that in place and then placing it on top. So you've got three layers here and here and here. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to sew that together, but in the instructions, depending on how you're going to finish it, you would have needed to bind the whole of that garment before doing your side seams. Oh, Otherwise, yes. you're going to get caught. So it's actually one continuous bind. So you would start here, go all the way down and around, come all the yep. way up. Come all the way around the arms, around the neckline, come around. So it's, it's one continuous binding, but it's just going to take forever to do yes. that. And you know how to do binding now. You don't have to bind. You could just do a simple a rolled hem. You could do a rolled hem. Is this, this isn't bound. Just hang on. Uh, one one side's bound. So on, on the underside, it's bound. Sorry, on the neckline and the top of the sections, it's bound. And I've done just a, a simple hem, hem on the on, bottom. Yes, exactly. All right. OK. So, you know how to do that, yep. but the main thing is about making sure that you get these parts in the right sections, which is why it's really important that you do that, not the, the, you transfer your notions, which I didn't do on my fabric, but I did it now. Yep. All right. So I'm just going to sew that together, and okay. believe it or not, that's the top. We're done. Okay. I know you sent a message, Paul. It just hasn't arrived yet. I'm having my Doris Stokes moment. I'm just waiting for it to come through. <laughs> Hannah's clicking away upstairs. Oh, bless her. Miss Mustard in the library. She looks with gorgeous the today. Well, I wouldn't Delightful. go that far. No, Jennifer. I do. I think that colour really suits you. Oh yeah, the colour. She does look gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Don't think she looks like Big Bird from um, Sesame Street. <laughs> 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 oh, you're going to get into so much trouble when we finish the show. John. Uh, I still hasn't arrived, so. Yeah, tell me, Ram. Paul is loving the show, Jennifer, and getting thank all the handy you. tips. Oh, thank you. Oh. Right, yeah. it was too slow to get the book. Better wake up earlier next time. Oh. And that also relates to Pamela. Oh, Pamela, you having trouble checking? She's having trouble checking out. That's because it's sold out, I'm afraid, Pamela. Oh, I'm ever so sold sorry. Out. Sold out, yeah, sold out. Oh, my gosh. So the only ones we've got left... No, no, this isn't me adding in and Joe Press now. That we did a few bundles... Where, where we've, done, we've given the book away free. There's not many of those. It's very, very limited. Here it is, right? So there's a few of those left, but I'm not suggesting if you've got a sewing machine, <laughs> don't buy the sewing... But if you wanted to buy a sewing machine, you could get the book for free. There you go. Or, well, yes, that's it. There you go. So I've sewn my two side seams together now. 
And here we have our top, done. So you just need to turn it inside out. So obviously, again, you could finish your seams, make sure you do that, so either pink them, or go in with your sewing machine and zigzag with an overlock. Yeah, or well, you could it. have bought an overlocker from me last... What day did we do the overlocker with the man? It was the weekend, wasn't it? Sunday, yeah. I can't wait to do an overlocking show. Oh, it's a beautiful overlocker. We love it. There you go. There's the front, and then there's the back. Or the other way around, if you or wanted to. Yeah. that way and that way. So, so now, it. so, so but you, need to, you need to finish the, uh, all of those edges <coughs> before you sew it together. Yeah, I would suggest doing it before you, because when you get to, otherwise, you, you weren't going to be able to get into the into side, the side seam. Into the side seam, no, exactly. Um, the armholes, the armholes you can do after you've done the side seam. Yes. Those are the last things that you would do. But the neckline, because it, remember, it goes, it goes into the into back, the doesn't it? Yeah. So you do need to do the neckline before you sew in the side seams, OK? So that, it's definitely important that you do that. Brilliant. All right, but that's it. Lovely. How simple was that? Just but, from the top? Yes, exactly. So the, even the pattern cutting and everything, you've taken it from the vest and you've created a really, really uh, different top, mm -hmm. but from the, ori uh, so from from, the original from vest top. Right. Um, Somebody, are, somebody said they missed you using the French curve. Could you show us how you yeah, use the French curve on your pattern? Brilliant. I mean, there's lots and lots of different ways to use it. <laughs> if you look at the back of the, uh, the packet, let me just get the packet here for you. If you look at the back of this packet, there are so many different reasons for using the French curve. I can, we could just show you a couple of them. Now, that one you've seen, the one I've got, I'm holding here, this is the imperial one. This is the one in inches, right? That's nine ninety-five. But look at all those projects there. Oh, sorry. sorry. That's right. Well, you know why they're saying oh, the Imperial's the most popular? I think that's because most dressmakers, well, most dressmakers I know, still work in inches. Because I still work in inches. It's true. You work in inches I in do. real life, don't you? I do work in. I, I don't know why I just gravitate towards inches. Yeah. One, I think it's because it makes you sound smaller. Oh yes, I didn't even thought about that. I just. Oh, that's that's nice. If you're old like me, it's just, you know. Yeah, and I think, I think for me, again, going back to how I, I learned to sew, was picking up, you know, really yeah. old vintage patterns where so if they came with instructions, it was a bonus. But all of the, all the instructions would have been in inches. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly. how I've learned. So, um, OK, so your tailor's curve. Um, I'm just going to come back in with my top just so we've got a base um, pattern, OK? Uh, we do do the curve in both metric and imperial there. The metrics at the top of your screen there, 1095. <coughs> the imperial one at the bottom, 995. Cool. So I'm just lining my top up again. I'm just going to quickly go in with a pencil just to give you a starting base. Yeah. There's my shoulder seams. I'm not going to worry too much about the armholes for now because it's just a demonstration. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And that's the side seam. OK. OK. So there's the outline of my top. OK, so the curve is great for making adjustments. So the first one for me would be, I don't want this V-neck. Yes. So what can I do to change that? So you've got different points of the... So it's not about, I've got to stick with that curve. I've got to stick with that area. It's about using the entirety of the curve and moving it around as you go to get the kind of shape that you want. So you're right, you could go in freehand, yes. but then you might be wobbly, whereas this is giving you the shape. So you can see here, you can start playing around with it. So... That's quite nice there. So it's almost a bit more of a modest V. Yes. We could even go in and go with a full-on plunge if we wanted to. Well, yes, exactly, exactly. Something like that. Or we could make it more of a... Um, so if we extended our shoulder seam, you could make it more like a T-shirt. Oh, yes, yes, you could make it... But then you'd have to have an opening in the back, wouldn't you, if you were going to have a, yeah. that at the front of the back. So but it, it's that... ideal because it gives you the curve automatically, doesn't it? <coughs> it does, And if, yeah. you, if you do... A, it's all very well. You and I could sit there and we could draw that freehand, but if you're just starting, you don't always know exactly how the curve should be for a neckline, mm -hmm. for an armhole, for anything like that. Yeah, yeah. So um, I've got a message from Lynn. Have been lucky enough to buy your book. Thank you. Yay. It explains how to use the French... Uh, thank you for explaining how to use the French curve. Loving the show, Jennifer and John, and all that same quarter. Oh, That's Lynn you. in Oxfordshire. Thank you, Lynn, my Great love. Great stuff. So another one here, if we just flip that paper around for a second, we've got our... Um, hemline here yes so on the uh, green top that's hanging up over there i've done a bit more of a, an interesting I'm, you keep talking i'll go and get it uh, it's it's more of a scooped um hemline and um, so i'll use the curve to create that so where our so on here you can see on the side it goes up and then comes down so it's like a, a man's shirt yes. tail isn't it absolutely so it's like well how would i do that so we've already got the curve here which is part of the normal garment. So what I've done is go round there like that, but then flip the curve over to create 
the other part of it. So what's important that when you do hit a side seam that you give yourself a bit of a straight edge yes. before coming down. So you can see here, because that's where the seam allowance would be. Yeah, and also, right. also the straight edge, because I made this mistake so many times when I first started, you think, oh, I'm going to do a lovely big scoop there. But when you actually cut it out, you end up with a tulip front or a yeah, tulip yeah, back, don't yeah, you? Because yeah, you haven't just eased it so off. Don't be afraid to rotate and flip your curve even though this is the this is the facing up way. Well, yes but but as you say you can use it i mean we're not doing skirts today but if you you know when you want to draw that um hip line nobody's hip here is a straight line yeah. is it you know what i mean no, and you want to create that lovely lovely curve <laughs> can you see it there? See the lovely curve mm -hmm. you get on. So you can use that. Also, where's the waistband? Your waistband on a skirt is very seldom a straight line. And you, you literally just want to need to lift it or drop it. And also, if you want to add a curved dart no, into the, the top of the skirt, it's so easy to use. <clears throat> so if you know where your bust point is, so let's yeah. just pretend that that's where it was. I know that because I've wore the garment. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm about to cough again. That's all right. And you know you can tell She's how got much, water, yeah. <laughs> you can tell how much you need to pinch. You can draw your curve in. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll be finished in six minutes. You'll be all right. <coughs> it's probably tickling my right tonsil right now. Oh no! It's, it's causing tears, Jake. <coughs> tissues. <coughs> Did Rob message in? Probably. Oh, you're right. <coughs> yeah, you know it's just like right in the. Do you want to go off? You go off, I'll go and do fabrics. I'll go and do fabrics. She'll be back. She'll be back before the end of the show. She'll be back before the end of the show. Come and have a look at the fabrics. Come and have a look at the fabrics. Oh, poor thing. Um, the bundle that she used is this one here, which is a lovely one I call the Helen Mirren uh, bundle. What it is, we're calling it a bundle. Basically, you're getting two metres of the fabric, two metres of the frou frou fabric. This is colour number eight. That's like, what was that ma song, Mambo number? Was that Mambo number? Oh, five. There you go. Got completely wrong. Single figures of that bundle. Single figures of that bundle there in the number eight. Oh, single figures like little single figures. Little single figures. Um, where do you want me to go next? And then this one at the end here. I love this one. This is Now, this is the one, if you look at this on the web, apparently it looks very, very pink on the web. Uh, but it is a really gorgeous, gorgeous, um, soft, like crushed raspberry, the background. This is number one, Mambo number one. No, Fru Fru number one. Fru Fru Fleury. A uh, two metre bundle for £38.95. Right, and then moving on to this. Now, this one's completely different. This is like a bigger, bolder, more... These are kind of more... I'd say they were more sophisticated prints, and this one's more of a fun print. Just need to change the graphics. That's not number one, that one. <clears throat> Marcy. No, not Marcy. Um, yeah, Marcy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the one with Marcy with the house. Isn't it funny? I thought it was Marcy and then thought, oh, I'm getting that wrong. Oh, Marcy, you're a talented lady, Marcy. And then last but not least is this one which is a gorgeous colour, really, really lovely colour, this one. Marcia, is it Marcia? Oh, hang on, it's Marcia, Mar sorry. Mar oh, I know which Marcia it is. You just, they've been saying Marcy to me all morning, so it's Marcia. You said Marcy, didn't she say Marcy, everybody? <laughs> no, but when we did it the first time round. Anyway, she's arg arguing back now. Never argue with your talent, Hannah, if you want to get on in this world. 21, colour 21, this. Jay knows like that. Jay's career's at an end now already. <laughs> Started but finished. Right, Jennifer's back. We've only got a couple of minutes left. I'm so sorry, everyone. That's all right. I know, it just gets you. Yeah. In the throat. Also, talking for two hours isn't easy, is it? It's very true. I have got a little lozenge, so I do apologise. But at least I can talk now. Yeah. Oh, my that right eye stopped. That crying. lozenge smells lovely. Right, OK. With the book sold, the book is sold out. We've got three minutes left. We've just shown the fabrics. Is hmm. there anything else? Oh, OK, we're, uh, we're going to do the, this bundle. Sewing machine bundle. Uh, the only, direct, all the books have sold, right? All the books, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books Amazing. that she's signed, they've all gone. We have a few left, but they come with... That we, we've got this special deal for today and today only. If you buy the Elna 540 EX sewing machine, um, you get the book for free. Now, it's a very limited, very, very limited range. 
The, the machine costs 449 on every normal day. But you today, and today only, you get the book that's worth £12.95. It's signed, and also, it sold, we've, it sold out. It sold out. So, uh, it, it was Jennifer's machine of choice for today, and yep. she loves it. The five, it's the 540. <clears throat> oh, very quickly, you, I cut you off earlier. You were talking about uh, decorative stitches. Yes. Just very... <laughs> are you all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Um, so, we've gone through the straight stitch. We've gone through the stretch stitches, yep. which look like straight stitches, but they're really not. Buttonholes. We've also got our... our um, Overcasting or overlocking stitches. Then there's also here. There, there's actually a darning stitch. Oh wow! There's actually a darning stitch on this, which is number nine, which is great. Who does darning? You know well, what I mean? It's coming back. But um, the decorative stitches. Don't be afraid to use them in your projects because it really does add an embellishment when you wouldn't necessarily. So, for instance, with the festival pouch, where we've gone round with just a very plain straight stitch. Why not stick a beautiful heart on there or or there's a, a lovely mock um, feather stitch on there as well, which is just to die for. It's beautiful. There's little bows on there. Bows on dressmaking, because every now and then just <clears> a little <throat> edge, like a little scalloped edge or something like that, can look so, just finish a garment off, can't Absolutely. it? Especially on lightweight fabrics like this. And, and it, it doesn't have to even be in a contrast colour. You can even do it in the same colour. And it's just a... It just gives that little, little exactly. bit of detail. But there's actually smocking stitches on there as well. Oh, well done. Yeah. So you get a oh, lot. When you think about smock, real hand, hand smocking, it smock takes forever, takes doesn't forever, it? Absolutely forever. But what I really like about the um, the instruction manual, manual is because it really does go through everything. And again, going back to the book, this is how I, you know, I learned by picking up the instructions and having a look. So I, I said there was darning. Yes. I tell Not you, 30 seconds I tell, to you, I tell darning. you, there's darning. Oh yeah. So it's showing you how to do it on the machine. It tells you what settings you need. So look in your book. This is what I love about Elna sewing machines is everything. It has a, actually where, have the needle here, have this foot, have this, this, have this, and this is what it needs to say on the on the on little the machine. machine at the side. Never think like that. Four four nine. You get the machine and you get Jennifer's book. Jennifer, it's been a delight. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you get better soon. Oh no, I'm fine. I'm just, it, I'm, it's the back end of it. It's when are you back? When are you back in? Um, I believe I'm in on the sixth. Oh, there you go. So Thank you, you so Thank much. You. Thank you. And well you. done you if you got a book. That's fantastic. A sellout on your Woo! first one. Imagine what the launch of the, the old book oh, signing is going to be so like. Thing. Thank you so much for making it so special as well. Well, it's lovely that all the messages coming through, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, beautiful. Thank uh, you. Sorry if we didn't get to read out your message. There were so many of them. Don't go anywhere. Jennifer's going off home. I'm doing embroidery in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Join us on Sunday, where our friends at Today's Quilter will be taking over Sewing Quarter. Today's Quilter is the UK's best-selling traditional quilting magazine, and it's packed with projects for quilters of all skill levels in-depth features and interviews with some of your favourite designers. This Sunday, Joy Eddington and new guest Carolyn Forster will bring you a day full of inspiring quilt projects and new techniques for you to learn. Joy will be demonstrating the popular Quilt As You Go kits and guiding you through a ruler's masterclass and Carolyn will be showing you some jelly roll block techniques from her latest books. So join us on Sunday, the 28th of May, for today's Quilter Takeover Day. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. 
You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at com. visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Jay! Oh, honestly. He stands chatting. He's been flirting outrageously with Jennifer Taylor all morning, you see. And um, he, he's just chatting. Oh, Jennifer, 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 like that. Danny, don't worry, she's married. Danny's um, Jay's fiance. Elaine, are you watching? That's the mother in law. Anyway, 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 embroidery, embroidery and cross stitch. I said from day one, are we going to be doing embroidery? Are we going to be doing cross stitch? And they went, yes, John, let's get stock, let's get launched, let's get launched, and we'll do. Anyway, so today, I, I'm bringing you a little, I'm bringing you something, whether you're a, a, an established embroiderer, whether you're brand new to it, whether you think, oh, do you know what? I'd like to give that a go. I've got a few things for everybody today. So just stay with me. Just stay with me. Send your messages through. Now, the easiest way to get through to me is by sending a web chat. If you go to the website, www.sayingquarter.com, uh, and if you go to the main, and you click on uh, Watch Us Live, and then if you scroll down the screen, you'll see a little box, and you can just write your message in there. Keep the letters, they're supposed to be fixing it, but keep your letters in um, to a minimum if you can, because they get cut off halfway through the message. Uh, get your messages in, or you can email uh, any messages into us, and... Um, um, can I say again? Oh, yeah, I thought you were saying what I've done then. Uh, Hannah, you, I think you might have turned me down, Hannah, a bit. Oh, no. Oh, OK. OK, oh, dear. Maybe she's just turned down. Uh, oh. Uh, you can't hear it at home. You can't hear it at home. I can hear it here. Is it next door? Apparently they're having issues next door with their fire alarm. Is it the kitchen one, that side? Oh, every week apparently it goes off. That's the first time I've heard it. Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, let's get on, let's get on. Uh, if you've got any embroidery or um, cross-stitching that you want to send pictures in, you can't send those on the web chat. You have to send them on the email, which is studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. I'd love to see, I'd love to see some of your embroidery and cross-stitching because I want there to be more embroidery and cross-stitching on the show. Um, but if you start sending in your pictures, then, uh, of course, we can do I just have to ask Jay to do one more thing before we get any more. Can I have the aircon back on, but not as cold as it was, because it was very, very cold. Poor old Jennifer was freezing. He's turned it off completely now. It's like a sauna in here. So let's start off with a premiere. Now, if you do do uh, cross stitching or um, <clears throat> anything like that, well, look, I've got Jennifer. I've st stood in Jennifer's place, <clears throat> and my throat's gone down. Here we go. Aida, fourteen count fabric bundle. Now each in here. You get four of these. You get a blue. Uh, you get a white one, a cream one, a blue one, and a black one. They're fifteen pounds and forty-five pence. These are ideal for cross stitching. One hundred percent cotton, Aida. Oh, hello, Jay. There's your elbow in shot. Look. He was. His elbow was in shot. Thank you. Uh, fifteen pounds and forty-five pence. Uh, I think these are. You know, perfect. I'll just turn them round. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to get one out. I'll get one out. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I will do. Oh, okay, I can put it away. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll... Oh, do you not want me to open it then? I think so. I'll be. Right then. I'll be very gentle with it. Oh, no, I'm going to do some cross stitching with it later. Look, so what it is, is you get. You'll know if you do cross stitching, you'll know if you get this, right? Yeah, now, what it is, is if, you, if you're doing a sampler, for example, you know, when uh, I was growing up, my nan had lots and lots of samplers, so she'd do a home sweet home, and then the cross-stitching around the outside, and a little picture of a teapot here, a little picture of 
cherries and fruit down there. So basically, if you're making one of those samplers, this is the white one. You might not want a white background. You might have a cream. If you're making an antimacassar, for example, you might want the cream background. You might want the pale blue background. You get all of these. You don't need to choose. You do get all of these and the black one. And the black one really makes your colours pop, doesn't it? It's like a black opal, isn't it? A black opal. You see all the colours bursting out of black opal because of the black host rock behind it. Um, so these are they. You get four of them. They are 30 centimetres by 45 centimetres. There are four, like I say, the black, the pale blue, the cream and the white. First time, well, first time we've ever seen these, I've ever seen this, but we've also done the bundle for you. Normally they'd be selling uh, separately. You can buy all four for £15.45. I know, fantastic. Fantastic. Now, the other thing you might need if you're doing cross stitch or you're doing embroidery, you might need some hoops, might you? I've got some hoops. I don't know if we're going to do them now, but have a but look. You see, look at this. This one's in a hoop. I'll show you this one in a second. You see, that's that really. Now, that's just a, a cotton lawn in there. That I'll tell you all about this later. But this, we, we sell these hoops. We do sell them in all different sizes, which I'll take you through in a second. Right, okay, do you want to do them now, Hannah? Shall I do them now? I've got those lovely books, but I'll, what I'll do is I'll just run through them. I'll just run through them. Right, for some reason, they're all in centimetres apart from this one. Hasn't got a label on it, this one. 12 inches, yeah, all the others have got labels on, you see, this one hasn't got a label on it. 12 inches, 30 centimetres, four pounds and 45 pence. It's an embroidery hoop. Now, you could use them to decorate your room like we have done on our wall, wall. Oh, you can't see them in that. But there they are. There they are. There they are. Or you could use them at, to actually do your embroidery and your crochet. I had a square one because I had a K-facet. No, I had a K-facet um, tapestry. So the square one is a slightly differently because you wind it on at the top and the bottom. And you can move it round and everything. But they're brilliant because it just keeps, like here, it keeps the fabric taut. So when, you, when, you, when you're embroidering, or you're cross-stitching through, it keeps the fabric nice and taut. I tell you, it does that sometimes. If you watch Gogglebox, the lady in, um, where are they? Brighton, are they in Brighton? She's the, she's the lady with the hair, and they sit on the sofa, and they've got a son, and then sometimes the daughter's there, sometimes the son there, and then the husband always sits like that, with his feet up, holding onto his chair like that. Yes, yeah. Aren't they in Brighton? I thought they were in Brighton. Near Brighton. The daughters are twins, yeah, the daughters are twins, and they've got, one of them's gone travelling, and now suddenly there's another son arrived who looks more like the dad than... He's not called Josh, he's, that's the one. Anyway, uh, so what size is this one? 20 centimetre size now. 20 centimetre size. 3.95. I'm just running these through in case you want to buy them. I know they're not interesting to look at, so we'll get on to the interesting things in a second. Uh, I couldn't hula hoop with that one. It might get a bit wedged on my tummy, that one. I think that one, even on my little slender waist. Anyway, that I could just have my arms like, No, I can't do it. I hadn't practised that. That wasn't a good idea, was it? Then we're down to... What size was that one? No, this is 20 centimetres. Right, hang on. Right, hang on, hang on. Shall I get my tape measure out? Oh, OK. So, sorry, that was a 10-inch one. That was a 12-inch one. So this is now, that's the 10 inch one there for 390, still the same price, 395, 395. That's 10 inches, 25 centimetres. Then the now, the, here we are down now to the 20 centimetre one. That's right. It's weird, isn't it, how half them are inches, half them are in centimetres. This is 20 centimetres. What's Michael saying? There he is, he's making himself giggle upstairs now. Three pounds and 95 pence. That's the 20 centimetre one. Then I've got the, another one without a label. This. It'll be, uh, I've got 15 and I've got 12. So it's 17, this one, 17 centimetres. Yes. Jay, why haven't these got labels on them? No, no, because these have all got labels on them. He's trying to blame me now. Oh, because you don't like labels. I took them off, John. Anyway, he's got an answer for everything, that one. He's all right. Scally, that's 17 centimetres. I 
Okay, moving on to this one. 15. Like little portholes, aren't they? They're all £3.45. They could have all been on the same graphic, couldn't they? All right, and last but not least, don't worry, this is a bit boring, this bit. I'll just show you this one. This is now, this is the size that Lucy used, wasn't it? I just have, wait, should we show the label? Oh, that one's not, that's 295. That one's 295, that one, the 12 centimetre. Two pounds and 95 pence, 12 centimetre. Millwood, oh, there's different make, that's why. Oh, that's why, the different makes, the bigger ones, the inches ones are made by a different, made by a different company, made by a different company. Anyway. Shall we move on? I've got this plethora of gorgeousness here. Oh, do you know what we need, Joe? We need that big bag of embroidery th thread as well, don't we, really? You... Yes. Now, these are really, really cute. You want bird on flower. Hang on, they're both birds on flowers. There we go, this one. This one. This is the finished article. This is the fi I don't know who did this. Oh, did Lucy do it? This is an embroidery kit at heart that loves is always young. It's a fantastic one to start with. That's the finished, that's the finished article, you see. So in here, you get everything you need. Look, you get everything you need in here. You get little bits of fabric, you get your embroidery threads, you get uh, everything, you get the back, the backing, everything you need. And wouldn't that make it like you could frame that and put it up? You can, 15 pounds and 95 pence. I was just thinking, because I've got that, that um, storage box coming up. It'd be quite nice if we had the actual one with 100 in as well, wouldn't it? At 15 pounds and 95 pence. Cute, isn't it? Very, very simple starter point. Love, do you know what would be a lovely gift, wouldn't it? That 15 95. What would that buy you, 15 95? So you're thinking gift wise, a big bunch of flowers, which would be dead by the end of the week, big box of chocolate, which would be gone in an hour. We well, can't buy Jennifer's book anymore because that's sold out. Fifteen pounds and ninety-five pence. That's so cute. I will go go back over all these in a minute, in more detail. I just want you to see everything that we've got. So that one goes on that side now. Then, this is another one within that range. All works of love are works of peace. Oh, it's by Mother Trees, that. Oh, she's not here. No. Well, she might be. You know. Hang on. All works of love, £15.95. That's cute, isn't it? Now, again, in the packet, this is how it comes. This is how it arrives at your door. And then inside, look, you've got everything you need. The threads, the fabrics, the applique bits, everything you need in there for £15.95. Okay, customer, good morning, lovely. Oh, is that me? Oh, Jay, I'm trying to work here, honestly. Uh, you always make me smile on my day. And make my day. Love you from customer. Uh, which customer is that one? No, no, what did you say? No, uh, excuse me, Hannah's cr criticising my reading. I'm not criticising your writing, but good morning, lovely. You always make me smile and my day beautiful. Ah, oh, I've got it now. I've got it now. Yes, I've got it now. It is my, <laughs> it is my reading. I, I don't know who it is. Is that Sheila? No, no, Sheila is Mrs. Something, isn't she? But thank you, customer. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, it's not, it's been, I, it's, I told you I didn't get any sleep last night because of the heat. No, it's not me. Yes, it is me. It's totally me. Right, what's next? The transfers. Right, these are brilliant. Hang on, which one would that be? That, I'm going to open this. Oh, how much of these? I'll buy this one. I love this, right? Oh, never mind. Uh, it's called Epic Alphabet, right? And it's a transfer. It's from Sublime Stitching. You know Sublime Stitching because they do those lovely embroidery flosses which we've got coming up in a minute. Six pounds and 95 pence. So well, let, 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 let's just open this. And let's have a look. I'm going to open this one because it's a transfer, right? 
right? So look, you get a big sheet like this with all the letters on. Obviously, they're back to front. They're like Mandy Shaw transfer. I'm just going to read them, though, to so just explain it. So it says, welcome to your new craft obsession. What's your problem? Oh, that's a nice way of starting, isn't it? Why haven't you learned how to embroider yet? Oh, blimey. It's a bit aggressive, isn't it? Right, OK, uh, that's about a straight stitch. Here we go, transfer. This transfer ink does not wash out. Please test first. Uh, right, OK, so what you do is you carefully cut out the chosen designs and arrange them. Set the iron to cotton or wool, the hottest setting. No steam, no steam. I iron your fabric before imprinting it to warm it up and it gets rid of any wrinkles. And then you place the transfer ink side down where you want it to appear. Hold the pattern securely in place. You can pin it if you want, but I just hold it with one finger and cover it all at once with the iron, pressing. Right, so this is where we have the difference between pressing and, um, and um, ironing. It's not on, it's not on, it's not on. You just literally put your iron down like that on it. Don't go like this. You just literally press your iron down like that. That's the difference between the pressing and the ironing. Um, and then... Uh, these transfer, uh, repeat the design elsewhere for multiple images or save the pattern for reuse. Oh, so you can use the transfers over and over again. Eight, eight imprints. Mandy Shaw's are six, these are eight. These are eight imprints. So you could just cut all the letters out and write your name, write anything you want to write. Well, like this, this is the, these are the letters here. These are the letters actually been embroidered on here. There, that's the, that's the alphabet there. That's this, this set of alphabet from here. Oh, look, yes, I didn't see that. The eye looks like a cotton reel, look. I like the G because it's covered in kisses. Anyway, that's, that, so they last for eight times, up to eight times, though, six pounds and 95 pence. I won't, I've got three sets of transfers. I won't open all the others. I won't open, because you can see them. Oh, OK, we've got a, oh, we'll show you in a minute, show you in a minute. Right, so I've also got these uh, tattoo alphabet. Tattoo alphabet. I quite like those. Iron on templates inclu includes embroidery how to. Again, £6.95, pence. you've got the letters there, you can cut them out. Create your words. And use them up to each one up to eight times. Six pounds and 95 pence. Yes, I know my nails are long. I have them, I'm having them cut this afternoon. Right, and then last but not least, fantasy flowers. Now, oh, they're nice. Again, you can use them up to eight times. Look how many you get in there. All those lovely, lovely, 6 95 These would make lovely presents, wouldn't they? Really, really, really lovely presents. I know two people I've already thinking of getting these for. I might, when I do Danny's wedding dress, I might do the train with flowers, embroidered to flowers on the train. Oh, no, I can't talk about it. No, I won't do that. I can't talk about the wedding dress with Jay in the room, can I? It's bad luck. Right, I've got a picture. Who's this? Oh, Rachel Rue, is this? Yeah, Ra yeah Rachel Rue. Uh, oh, that's a bit posh. So she's, cro is that cross-stitching? Oh, so she got cross stitching, then she got lace around the edge. To, instead of a frame, she put it in a frame of lace. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, well done, Rach. That'll be on Facebook later. That'll be on her Facebook page later. She'll take a picture of the telly. Take, take a picture of me. Oh, oh I was going to say I was going to hold it like that, but I can't. Uh, anyway, hello, Rach. Hope you're all right. Right, what's next? The books, the books, the books, the books, the books, the books. I'll do this one first because I've not seen this one before. Stitch. Fabric and Thread, an inspirational guide for creative stitching by Elizabeth Healy. No, it's not Elizabeth Hurley. It'd have safety pins if it was Elizabeth Hurley, wouldn't it? Did you get that? I was at that party. Oh, you're all too young to remember. At the, at the um, four weddings and a... No, uh, yeah, four weddings and a funeral premiere, Liz Hurley wore a Versace dress. That had great big safety pins in it. If you look very closely at the pictures of her arriving, I'm standing right behind her, because it was the... the, 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 the um, you know about this, Mike. It was in Leicester Square. It was the premiere in Leicester Square. And we had the party... We had the party in the in and out Club. It was a fantastic night, really fantastic. Anyway, tools, everything or nothing, everything... See, there's the hoops. Oops! 
Oops, there it is. Um, so then we've got how to sew, how a sewing machine works, the importance of a sketchbook. Oh, there you go. Look, there, there's Jenny. Now, um, when we were when Jenny was showing us, like, you know, her like mood bo board book that she was showing earlier, Hannah was like saying, "Oh, I had one of those when I was art school." She said ours was supposed to be a sketchbook, but I just shoved pictures, bits of fabric in there. Up, oh, and we wonder why she failed. What is thread? I did not fail, she's saying in my ear. I did not fail. What is fabric? You see, look, it's lovely. I love it. See, that's nice. That would have been nice. I might tell uh, the set decorators to do that with our hoops next time. Oops! Next time. Uh, then what else have we got here? Oh, all the different fabrics still. Colour. There's your colour wheel. It's all important colour, isn't it? It's all... Oh, Andrew and Hillary are messaged in. Oh, now, Hillary loves cross-stitch. Oh, honestly, Hillary, you need to have a bit more... Yeah, uh, get them finished. Uh, Andrew says Hillary does that uh, cross-stitch and she loves it, but she gets bored halfway through and doesn't finish them. So get them finished and send the picture in. Uh, straight ahead running stitches now. Oh, I, I think this is lovely. All the different stitches in there. Lovely jubbly. Oh, patchwork. Uh, internationally random. These are all different stitches, look. All these different stitches. Cantha fishes. I think this is lovely. Uh, bold textiles, moving on. A leaf out of my book. There's all sorts of things there. Oh, our son's been in touch now. Uh, oh, how gorgeous Rachel's mum embroidery. I'm loving this section, John. Lots of love, our son. Thank you. Varsity letters. Africa. Oh, look. That's nice. And that will go lovely in, uh, in Hannah's Hall. Wouldn't it? Colourful cords. Oh, that's nice. That's more like this picture here. That's like Hannah's brain. It's not all the colours and the creativity going on all the time. I don't know why they use... Is that Margaret Thatcher's profile? Looks like it, doesn't it? Colourful cords. That's unusual, isn't it? String... Th oh, look! Look, 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 look. I tell you who, I, I was watching, I saw a video over the weekend of um, unexpected song. Sarah Brightman. Sarah Brightman, when she was very young. Spitting image of our Hannah. Spitting image of our Hannah when she was younger. Sarah Brightman. Married to, she was married to Andrew Lloyd Webber. Chain <laughs> and blanket stitches. She's a brilliant singer. Exploring blankets and I love all look at the look at the detailing going on here. Oh look at that lovely bag. Do what? No, don't look her up now. Look her up when she was about 18 or 16. Saving your pennies behind the stitches. Oh now! I've seen somebody make that one. Penny wall hanging. Uh I just oh oh that's nice, isn't it? Uh, this reminds me. See this here. This is the old airmail. I don't know if they still do it now because my dad was in the RAF and he was a whale at the time. We always used to get letters, BFPO letters, and they were always in uh, uh, envelopes like that. Stitch memoirs, silhouette hula. Oh, she's pretty, isn't she? Oh, I like that because it's like three D, isn't it? Uh, stitching on knits. Textures, aren't these? This is very different, this book. Mini quilt. Very, very different, isn't it? Drawing with stitches. Oh, look. That's nice. That... Who, who is? <coughs> Wendy. Wendy, what's the matter, my love? We can't see any issues our end. The best thing to do, Wendy, is just ring the number 0800 112 4433. Speak to them at the call centre. They're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. They'll sort it out for you. What did you ring them for? Oh, Hannah was buying all sorts of stuff the other day. Rise and falls of the of buttoning. Oh, that's oh, they're unusual, aren't they? You see, isn't it all? Oh, oh, that's nice. I like that. Lots of embellishment in embroidery on fashion at the moment, isn't there? Pleats for, it's called Global Village. When they do that, it's called Global Village. Worn and loved. That's Hannah. <laughs> Worn out and loved. Well, 
She's worn out anyway. Oh, you, oh, look now, that's a famous chicken, that one, isn't it? That's a chicken, isn't it? I love this book. Rouleau swirls. Oh, that, it's not 11.15 yet. We can't talk about cinnamon swirls. Drawn thread work. Marriage quilts. We could start making one of those for Hannah, couldn't we? We could all join in. A giant quilt that doesn't have to be ready for a long time. Oh, now they've called them gathered circles of joy. Aren't they Suffolk Puffs? Yeah. Oh, I love this book. There's so much... Oh, christening gift. Oh. It's always difficult to know what to buy for a christening, isn't it? Oh, that's got so many different things in, hasn't it? How'd you say that word there? I'm not asking you, Hannah. Oh. Maybe, maybe, Hannah, your issues is that you can't speak English. Because you're brilliant at all the other languages, and she's just rubbish, she's just rubbish at um, English. Oh, look, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Fly stitch, sheaf stitch, cross stitch, loop stitch. This is all we need to know, isn't it? Everything, oh, I'm sorry, I overdid it then. Went a bit fast. Glossary. Oh, I love, I like this book. Well, there's that, that um, African mask that we're going to put into. Um, it's a chicken. I think it might be, um, that's a beak. Anyway, I love that book. 14 95 that one. Oh, OK, I'll do that now. Before I get the next book out, somebody wants to have a look at this again. Um, the first time we bundled these together, look, they're needlecraft fabric, ideal for cross-stitch. You get all four of them. There's a cream one, a pale blue one, a black one, and a white one. That's how big they are, look. At £15.45 for four of them. Aida, 14-count fabric bundle, 30 centimetres by 45 centimetres. You get four in total. I'll just turn them over so you get the cream one. You get the pale blue one, the black one, which will look very dramatic, isn't it? With like, oh, you can see that. Put flat, put gorgeous flowers on there. And then the white one, oh, there they all are there. Except the black one's not there. Where's the black one on there? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, it's my bad. I just thought... I know, I'm having a really bad day today, aren't I? It's because I didn't sleep. I was still, I was wide awake at half past two because I was so hot. And I have to get up at four. All the, now, all the different hoop sizes, if you go to the web, they're all down there, just below me on the web there. Right, the Encyclopedia of Embroidery Techniques. We absolutely adore this book. I know we've shown it to you before. It's back in stock. We just love it. It is the ultimate go-to. It's the encyclopedia of embroidery techniques. Look, that's all ribbon work. That's just beautiful, isn't it? And what I love about the old oh, look at Chihuahua, a skunk. Or oh, is it a badger? It's a badger, it's not a skunk. <laughs> Maybe I should go home now. Maybe I should just go home now. If you can somebody message in and say, tell the management for me, I've got to go home now. What I love about this, the techniques here, surface embroidery, it's just got... What, I, what is lovely is you've got a photograph of what the stitch is supposed to look like when it's finished and then how you actually do that stitch, which I think is just brilliant. So you've got all the different techniques there. But what I love... Look at that. That's, oh, that's called... Um, oh, I've got my new glasses on today, look. Laid base straight stitch laid work. Laid work trellis. It's just lovely, isn't it? But what I love, like, this is needlepoint. Preparation. Cross stitch. Oh, we come to cross stitch, look. Tent stitch. Goblin stitch. That little Parisian stitch, Hungarian stitch. So much to learn, isn't it? Moorish. It is rather Moorish, isn't it? Diagonal. Cashmere. Milanese, Byzantine, Jacquard. Then you've got square eyelets, diamond eyelets, fan stitch. There's so much... Oh, I like that one there. Variation on circular eyelets. They're circular eyelets. They're a variation on it. 
You see, and then look what you can make. Look what you can make using those techniques. But then, look, it gets get, get right stitch, Scottish stitch, cushion stitch. I just like looking at this book as well. You see, uh, don't buy, Andrew, don't buy this for Hillary. Oh, look, aren't they lovely? Now look, I thought that said Leona Lewis then. Fiona Lewis did that one. Joyce Robertson did that one. I just think they're inspirational, but counted thread embroidery, this one, that'd be no good for Hannah though. She's got to count, doesn't she? She, you know, her, um, what's it, concentration span. Oh, that's nice. Zigzag, zigzag hem stitch. Hem stitch, I think these are lovely. These are all drawn, from, oh look. Drawn thread work, these. Fantastic. Really, really lovely. Uh, moving on to the next one. Raised effect. Just read now. Machine embroidery. I know. Fantastic, aren't they? Free machining. There's lots of people ask about this. Now, the dissolvable vol fabric, we had that for a little while, didn't we? Oh, no, we, we had stitch and tear, and we? Didn't have the dissolvable. We've asked them to get the dissolvable in. I think that's incredible. Then we have plique, which I love. Cool, everyone's got the coughs today, haven't they? Was that not you coughing? What noise did you just make then? It wasn't upstairs. It was in here. Anyway, applique, applique, applique. All the different kinds of applique there. Shadow applique. Oh, we've not done that. Is it reverse? Called a different name. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. If anyone knows, let me know. Let me know. Then we're on to quilting. Oh, look at that uh, piece. Uh, the dove. The pink dove of dove of peace there. <laughs> Other techniques, beadwork. Look at that. Now these these are lovely, aren't they? That's like a beautiful flower, isn't it? <laughs> it's not a spider, is it? No, that is not a spider. Look, there's leaves all up here. These are all leaves and flowers. It's called circular teardrop eyelets. That is not a spider. But why has it got leaves? Right, where's, where does it say? Hang on, let's go back. There's nowhere on that page that says it's a spider. I think that's a vase with leaves in it. Look. Yes. It's a bit like me doing an interview, this, isn't it? What do you see here, Mr. Scott? I see leaves. Uh, what's that? Needle lace? I just think there's so many... Oh, oh! Now, that's a bit like... Um, you know my friend Chris, who... who <laughs> My friend Chris, who lives next door to me, she did a butterfly like that recently. <laughs> Look at that one. That looks like little Paul. Before he lost his hair. I suppose it's Ginger Mike now, isn't it, that one? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Look. The honeybee. Oops. Now look at these. Look at these. Look at these for inspiration. Look. These are all, these are all embroidered. They're fantastic. Oh, look at that. People and animals. This is what I saw. This is what I saw. Remember the other day I said I saw a baby reindeer in the village? I've seen two of them now. I know. It's a fallow deer. Bumblebees, they're like the ones that are on um, Fergie's wedding dress, they are. Not Fergie from Black Eyed no. Fergie ma married royalty. Strawberries. Nice. Ah, oh, Wendy. Oh, Wendy, you were also having trouble with the web, that Wendy. Could you show the epic alphabet again, please, John? Of course I can, Wendy. Right, can I open the flower one then, do you think? Or not? Wendy, here's the epic, here's the epic um, transfers for the letters. Now you can cut them out. You press them on, you press them down onto your fabric. Now the fabric does, the ink does not disappear. So don't be thinking, oh, I'll embroider a bit and not some of the others. Um, you can use them up to eight times. Janet, Janet, just, that's all your message says, just. 
Is it, is it saying, just go home, John? Just go home, we're sick of you today. Um, here they are, embroidered with uh, variegated threads. But so these are the transfers here. Iron them onto your fabric. You, you can use them up to eight times. Up to eight times you can use those. Six pounds and 95 pence. Now that was for Wendy, and then a person with no name wanted to see the flower ones. So I'll open the flower ones. We can always use these in the office, can't we, won't we? The, now the office envelope feels a little bit, I mean the flower, not the office envelope, the flower envelopes feel a little bit um, thicker. Oh, there's loads, there's loads in here. If I, could, if I could open it. There you go, look at all the, oh look, you can even do leaves. Or as little Paul would say, leaf it out, John. Unbelievable, look. Leaves, really lovely like stalks, spiders webs, flowers, flowers, oh they're nice aren't they? Flourishes, each of those you can, you cut them out, what you do is you cut them out, you can either place them with a pin on your fabric or you can um, hold them but you just press it with a, no steam, no steam, just press it onto your fabric. And then you can embroider. They're called fantasy flowers, those for £6.95. Now, I'm talking about embroidering by Sublime. Sublime do the most... Oh, do you know what? Look, it's 10.36 already. I'm being a bit overindulgent, aren't I? Yeah, Diane. She's got, I got a message, John, from Diane. D-I-A-N-E. Yeah. <laughs> That's because I'm having trouble this morning. Right, so Diane says what? Oh, oh, these are Diane's embroiderers. She says what? Loving the show. Oh, do you know what? Diane. That one's won a prize. Diane, Diane, Diane. Oh, that's what we're planning on doing. More cross-stitch and more embroidery. We're planning on doing that. Let's have a look at Diane's pictures again. Look, is that one on the right won third prize for something? What are they? The dogs with cowboys hats on. Oh no, one's a cat. One's a cat. Are they all cats? Oh, she's had to make them smaller, you see. And then the ones on the left hand side that we had those like, in Angelina's show when we did Tomb Raider. Gargoyles. They're very pretty gargoyles, those, aren't they? They're brilliant. Thank you for that, Diane. Thank you for that. Anybody else? If. <laughs> I knew she would. Rachel, we got your picture. Thank you. Put it on Facebook later for everybody to see. Um, oh, sorry, I'm pointing at you with my needle. Um, I was going to say something quite important then. Em no, 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 embroidery. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I can't, it'll come back to me. Let's do the, th the three, th three threads. They're not free. There are three of them. I've got Mingles, Portrait, and I've got Parlour. Oh, which is my favourite? It's either Parlour, Portrait or Mingles, but I can't quite decide. Go Parlour. Right, the, this, this company, this is the same, these are the same people that make the um, transfers, right? And they do these incredible, beautiful, high quality embroidery flosses. Uh, you get seven of them in here for £7.95. This is the Parlour, they, they, they give them all different names. So this, this collection of colours, it's called Parlour. If you go to the website, you can see all the different colour ranges we do. This one's called Parlour, and you get those seven beautiful colours there, like a lime, an aqua, a pink, a purple, a rust, and a, oh, it's like a cyclamen pink there. Really, really, really good quality, these. They're nice. So that's the Parlour one, if you like the Parlour. If, you, if I'm going too fast, you want to see anything, just let me know and I'll bring, because it's all here, it's all on the side of my table. Right, this is pretty, this one. This one's called Portrait. There's a lovely colour. They're more subtle colours, those, aren't they? Oh, there, so you've got the um, black, the grey, the brown, the ginger, the pink, the peach, and the cream. Gold. Is it gold? I haven't got my glasses on. Well, you don't like it being called ginger, because you are ginger. 
It's called bronze, actually. It's called bronzer. They've all got names. So this one is called milkmaid. That one's called, I can't see it now. Peachy Cheek. Oh, they've got funny names, haven't they? What's this one called then? Oh, it's right underneath that one. I can't read that one. This one's called Bronzer. They're like the, um, what's it? It's the Paul Santa Sledge, aren't they? Oh, that's um, Silky Coco. They're nearly as good as Laura's name. That's Smoky Eye. Oh, they're all makeup. They're all makeups. They're all makeups. Uh, it's called Eyeliner. That one's called Smoky Grey. That one's called Silky Coco. That one's called Bronzer. So this must be rouge, mustn't it? Lip gloss. That one's called lip gloss. So they're all after makeup things. Oh, portrait, because it's a portrait. It's got one job, John Scott, one job. I'm going to see what they were. Velvet curtain, corset. Amazonite. Absinthe. Bell pull, tassel, and... Fainting couch. Fainting couch. You know, we have to go on a couch. Right, so let's guess what these are called then. Because this is, this is unusual, this one. This one's called Mingles. Mingles. But look at these. Look at the colours. So as you stitch those, the colour's going to go from the colour to do different colours, isn't it? Shall I tell you what these are called? You can look from the front. No, I can't guess these. Dalmatian. The black and white one's Dalmatian. Wood grain, these... <laughs> Lilac twist, these haven't got a theme, I'm thinking. Wading pool. Wading pool. Ivy League. Sunstreak. And pink smoothie. Mingles. Are Mingles chocolates, then? The flavours of chocolates. Seven pounds and 95 pence. They're lovely, aren't they? Really lovely. Remember, get your pictures in. If you've got any embroidery or cost stitch and you want to show me, I've still got loads to show you yet. I've still got loads to show you. What time is it? Ten. The box first. Yes. Look at, so look at the, let's look at the book, John. I'm like, I haven't got another book to go to. I love this. Uh, when you've got your threads, right, when you've got your threads, they arrive like this and you open them or use them. They all get messy, don't they? This is always a brilliant buy. This is £4.95. And what you get is this big box. The lar it's the large organiser. There it is. That's how it comes with you, to you. But then inside, you get 100 of these little um, cotton spools, thread spools. Have you look? Look. You see? And what happens is, I'll just put them there. You put your thread through. Oh, I'll turn it the right way around. Put your thread through there, wind your embroidery thread around, put the other end through there so you don't have any loose ends, or you can put it that way up and you could write the number across there or the colour. So you know you can all, if it's running out, you can reorder that colour. There are a hundred of those little cardboards. And then what you do is you then stack, well actually, if you can show the picture again of the packets, it shows you how to do it there. So there you go, you see you've got all the different colours of your embroidery threads all organised there. All that for four pounds and ninety-five pence. I think that's brilliant. So if you are an embroiderer or a cross stitcher and you've got lots and lots and lots of embroidery threads that need organising, what's the matter? Oh, that's a little Paul joke, that one, isn't it? Don't be a cross stitcher. Just calm down. Don't be angry. Four pounds and ninety-five pence. I've I've got one more that I've, one that I've never seen before, and I absolutely love this next kit. It's the Anchor Freestyle Embroidery Kit Cupcakes. Isn't it lovely? It's starters, it says. Starters. Or oh, debutante. So, again, everything you need is in there. So, you've got your linen at the background. Well, I don't know if it's linen. I'm just going to say your fabric at the background. Then you've got all your different colours... Your stranded cottons there. Skill level. Oh, it says difficult. So why did it say starters at the big front and this it says difficult on the back? Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Skill level, difficulty must be it in French. Just one star. What's that one there then, do you reckon? What's that for? That's your needle. That's your threads. 
That, oh, it is linen. It is linen on the background. I said linen, didn't I? So it's linen at the background. Yeah, one stuff for the difficulty, which is must be simple. Must be simple. No, there's no star in it because they're cupcakes, aren't they? Yes. So there's your stranded cottons that you get. Oh, that's nice. And then, oh, we're very limited on this one, I'm being told now. I've not seen it before, you see. Oh, it's really cute. Because look at, and it's good quality linen. It's good quality linen. So you could do that. You could either frame it and put it in a picture, or you can make it the front of a cushion. That's lovely, isn't it? That's beautiful. All the instructions, piece of cardboard there, just hold it all in place. I'll just put it back nice and neatly like that. There we go. Oh, OK, we'll do some scissors next. Though. We're out of stock for a while, but let me just pop that in there. I'm just putting it back nice and neatly for Jay. There we go. Right, scissors, stalk scissors. These are the sewing quarter uh, heron scissors. No, stalk, stalk, stalk scissors. We all thought it was a heron until we read the story about how they are stalk because uh, midwives used to do, in the olden days, used to do sewing and stitching while they were waiting for babies to arrive. <clears throat> so they made scissors like this because the stalk brings the baby, doesn't it? These are the sewing quarter gold-plated embroidery scissors, three and a half inches, nine pounds and 95 pence. This is the one that sells out, we reorder. Sells out, we reorder. Sells out, we reorder. They're back in stock. They are back in stock now. Embroidery scissors, three and a half inches, nine centimetres. Sharp blades, says on the packet. That's for people like Jay who have to open the packet and don't realise. Nine pounds and 95 pence. Fabulous present. Wouldn't it be a lovely gift? And also really, really good quality. Really good quality. Try to eat the graphics there, look. Nine pounds and 95 pence. So, <laughs> quarter. Gold plates, you can tell I'm hungry, can't you? Nine pounds and 95 pence. You got a whole hour of me after this again, remember? Right, so we've done the scissors, done all that. I've got four more little kits just to show you very quickly. All different levels, all different uh, um, things. Which one do you want to go to first? Right, well, that, hang on, that's a dimensions one. These are three Alice in Glass. So let's do the three Alice in Glass ones first. So this one uh, is uh, Flowers Number 2, this is called, Embroidery Project. Uh, flower 2, this is Flower Number 2. So this is the project you get here. It's a pre-printed flower. And you can make three things out of that pre-printed flower. A stretched art piece, a throw pillow, or a project bag. Not, can't make all three, because you only get one of those. That's her with her project bag there. It's printed on 100% cotton fabric, and it's an illustrated stitch guide with useful tips. £17.95. It's so Alice and Glass, remember? Alice and Glass. She does those beautiful patterns, doesn't she? £17.95. OK, that's flower number two. Then we've got... This is very ornate, this one. Stitch a pretty embroidery sampler, this one. Then turn it into a fun needle book. Decision is pre-printed on white cotton fabric. But then it has extra... Um, extra. Uh, this one, the one... I'll show, you the, I'll show you around, right? So that's what you get, right? And then you get extras, like the turtle and the star... And all sorts of things that you can put on there. Scissors, musical notes, pre-printed embroidery project by Alison Glass, £17.95. Well, all you get, what you get in there is the piece of fabric. You see the piece of fabric? And it's got the, um, what's that? The, not the template, what would you call it? Like the transfer already transferred onto it. £17.95. I'm not quite sure why Alison Glass has got three S's on that one. Because she's only... She's only got two S's on her name. And then the last Alice in Glass. This is lovely, isn't this, this one? The Field Day Embroidery and Wool Applique Pattern is a fun way to practice embroidery or wool applique, or a combination of the two. 
The pattern includes an 11 by 17 inch sheet of black line work. One side is regular ink for tracing. The other is iron on for heat transfer. 11.95, this is good for value for money. You get both. Instructions for 10 stitches plus the wool applique with easy to follow diagrams. Make six, no, make the full nine by 16 inch design or pull out elements for smaller stitch projects. Nice. Right, last but not least, did you say you got a picture of? I've got to carry. Right. Oh, it's from Sewing Nut. There's no name with it. Oh, her little girl has just started with cross stitch. Oh, be delighted we could show it. Of course we will. But at the sea fat and tea hanna now, that's the fabric. You see the back of the right hand one? The open weave fabric is like the Aida fabric that we had at the beginning of the hour. And you use the holes to create the crosses to make your cross stitching, you see. Right, um, Hannah wants to know how old your daughter is because she thinks it looked quite complicated. It's good, brilliant. Cupcake and Right, yes, before we go to the last one, I've got those Aida. What it is, the first time we've bundled them together, really, what you get is the Needlecraft fabric. I'll show you the top ones first. You get it in black, you get it in pale blue, you get it in cream, and you get it in white. It's 14 count, this, 14 count. £15.95. I'll just show you the colours before you see the still. There's the pale blue, the black, and the cream and the white. You get all four of those, 15 pounds and 45 pence. Oh, lots of you with that in your basket. Please make sure you check out. Please make sure you check out. Okay, right, moving on. on to my, I've got one piece left now. So you want me to repeat, repeat anything or show anything? Oh, okay, lots of people with that. Now let's do this first then. This last one is dimensions. How many? Two. Oh, no, I thought you said two minutes then. Uh, this is nice, isn't it? Uh, this is uh, Love Life, Live Well, Love You Back. It's all embroidery containing um, pre-sorted threads, print, printed fabric, needle and instructions. I wonder how big the finished piece is. Oh, there, seven inches by five inches, the finished piece. Look, everything's in there, look, everything's in there. That's cute, isn't it? That's a really good one to start you off, isn't it? Get you going on that one. £15.95, and pence. right? Very quickly, before I go. I'm not going anywhere, because I've got another hour after this, but before we finish the embroidery, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's not been too slow for you. I hope you've enjoyed this. We are planning on getting more and more embroidery and cross-stitching on the show. Stitch, fabric and thread. This is very popular, been very, I've never seen this one before. £14.95, lots of you got this in your basket. You do need to check out. You do need to check out if you want, to, if you want this. I just think it's a brilliant book full of so many inspirational ideas and tips and what to do and how to do it. All the different stitches there at £14.95. A re well, a good gift, but also if you, if you are enjoying embroidery and you only know cross stitch and straight stitch, this will be br brilliant, brilliant, brilliant to introduce you to new uh, stitches. And this one, the colourful cord work. And how to do it, look at this, look, all the instructions of how to do it. They're just fantastic, aren't they? That's, now that's like spirograph. Do you remember spirograph? Where you get two circles and put your pen in and spin them round and round and create a, a drawing like that, wouldn't it? I spent hours playing with that. You get all the different coloured pens in there as well. Do you remember that, Timothy? You're older than you. you look. Mind you, it was very funny this morning. We did a quote. Oh, so, oh I know. Uh, Han, uh, Hayley walked in and said, oh, this top, it's riding up with wear. And about four people went, oh, it'll ride up with wear, Mrs Slocum. Because it was a quote, wasn't it, from, um, from Are You Being Served? And all the youngsters in the office went, well, what's that mean? Makes you feel old. You know what I mean, though, don't you? Making buttons. Pleats, folds and pinches. Oh, that's nice. That, look at that. That's, what's that one there? They're pinches, aren't they? I just put my glass on. Oh, yeah, they're pinches. That's nice. That's lovely, isn't it? Ginger Mike couldn't live with that because he'd have to go around cutting all the, all the loose threads off.
Want to create your own design but stuck for inspiration? Take a look at the graphic posters of Saul Bass or Blue Note album of covers of the 1950s and 60s. Well, it's an egg, look. It must be a chicken. There's an egg on the page. Do you mind not talking while I'm trying to work? Lovely. Right, OK. Embroidery organizer box. This is brilliant value for money. People multi-buy this, I'm not surprised. Well, you see, it's that time of year where people start putting things in their Christmas cupboard box. So what you get is you get 100 of these cardboards and you roll, re, put your thread round it. There's those little catches at the top, at the top there to hold the ends of the thread so it's not going to be messy. They're cardboards so you could write on them um, what colour it is, what number, serial number is or anything like that. Four pounds and 95 pence. It's brilliant. There it is. You see how they've done it there? I haven't got the cover of this. I think Jay lost it. Um, four pounds and 95 pence. Oh, he's saying Amy did it. Four pounds and 95 pence. This is the Hemline Embroidery Thread Organiser Large. Uh, now, remember, I've shown you lots and lots and lots of things this hour. If you go on the web and you look below me down there, Everything that I've showed you is there. If it's not there, it means it's sold out. So um, I'm presuming um, Jennifer's book from earlier won't be there. But anything you've seen, just go down there on the website. And all of these are all listed. All the fabrics, the frou-frou fabrics from earlier, they're all listed as well. And you literally can just click on them and put them in your basket. But make sure you check out. Do anyone missing? People are multi-buying this. Oh, it's gone. The graphics has gone. Sorry. Right. Eight times, it says, on the instructions, the transfers last up to eight times, it says. Say that again. Epic one, that's this one. This is the epic one here. So what you can do is, it says on the instructions there, cut them out, make your word or place them into the design you want. Don't iron them like that, just press them, no steam. Use them up to eight times. Use those up to eight times. I'll just show the cameraman. In your own time, we've only got a minute left. Six ninety-five. Now, remember, when you transfer those on, the transfer doesn't disappear, so you need to stitch through all of them at all. Right, this, you need to check out your baskets, please. So the first time we bundle them together, these Aida Needlecraft fabrics, you need to check out your baskets for that. In fact, check out your baskets for everything to make sure you get it. Oh, Redwork's a good way to start somebody's message. And yeah, that's what um, Mandy Shaw does a lot of, isn't it, Redwork? Right, uh, don't go anywhere. I'm coming back in three minutes. Oh, I've got brilliant, brilliant. I've got storage. I've got things to put in your storage. I've got fat quarters. I've got fat quarter bags. I've got fat J. I've got everything. So don't go anywhere. How many seconds, Jay? We'll see you in three minutes from... now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. The Sewing Quarter is a new inspirational sewing and quilting channel here to help educate our viewers with some of the best designers in the business. We hope to bring you some exciting demonstrations with some of the top industry experts. We're part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multi-platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our first TV shopping channel adventure with Jewelry Maker to several successful magazines such as Simply Sewing, Radio Times, BBC Good Food and many more. We've been working incredibly hard to set up and bring you our new exciting channel and we hope that we can help inspire you with new ideas and projects. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. 
Join us on Sunday where our friends at Today's Quilter will be taking over Sewing Quarter. Today's Quilter is the UK's best-selling traditional quilting magazine and it's packed with projects for quilters of all skill levels, in-depth features and interviews with some of your favourite designers. This Sunday, Joy Eddington and new guest Carolyn Forster will bring you a day full of inspiring quilt projects and new techniques for you to learn. Joy will be demonstrating the popular Quilt As You Go kits and guiding you through a Rulers Masterclass and Carolyn will be showing you some jelly roll block techniques from her latest books. So join us on Sunday the 28th of May for today's Quilter Takeover Day. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. was that quilting day? What day was that quilting day, Jane? Sunday. Sunday the 28th. Is that, when's that? Oh, that's not me. That sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Well, I'll have to watch that. Right. Everything you need, really. It's called Contemporary Notions Hour. It's basically everything you need. Everything you need. There must be something here that you're going to want, whether it's a storage box, whether it's a sewing machine, whether it's scissors, whether it's fat quarters. Um, I've got an assistant called Jay for this hour. Uh, who will be coming in with, uh, you know, not glamorous, he's not a glamorous assistant at all. Um, in fact, I think he's put weight on since I last saw him, actually. But there you go. Um, should we just start? Should we just start? And then you can all... What is important is you get in touch with me. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. If I go through anything a bit too quickly, just let me know. If you want to see something again, just let me know. The easiest way to do it is the web chat. It comes straight through to me here. Um, and, uh, well, let's just start, let's just start. So let's start with this lovely... So, do you know what? There's a lot of gift ideas, a lot of gift ideas in this hour. I could have done this hour sitting down, really, couldn't I? But never mind, never mind. Do that next time. This is a large... Notions. Hang on. Hobby gift, large sewing box, large, again, contemporary Notions print collection. Basically, this is the, this fabric, this gorgeous fabric, that is the Notions print collection. Very, very, very popular. It's the large, I'm not sure if I've seen this one before. I've seen the next one, but not I've seen this one before. Um, I just have a look at that. Isn't it lovely? The pattern on there is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really lovely pattern. I love the pink, um, like, string raffia detailing. It's like a very traditional, old-fashioned um, sewing box, isn't it? And then around the edge here... Oh, I do apologise. I'm going to start giggling and I've got no idea why. Nobody was looking at me. Nobody was saying anything. And I suddenly thought, I'm going to giggle. But I don't know why. <laughs> I've got no idea why. I'm just apologising ahead. No, no, I don't know, Hannah. There was no reason. There was no reason at all. I just thought, I'm going to start laughing. Anyway, so we've got the lovely raffia or string effect round the top here. You've got the braid here. You've got the magnetic... You've got the magnetic uh, fastening there. Lovely deep box, this one, isn't it? Now, if I just give it a quick open. Well, let's just have a look at the bottom. Nice, sturdy bottom. Right, let's open this, you see. Look at this. Look at this big tray. To put all your safety pins or your threads or your needles or anything in there. Really good quality. Look at this. Good quality plastic tray. And then look at the depth. Look at the depth of this box. What? I haven't got the measurements. I haven't got the measurements. I'll, I'll measure it for you now. Um... Pin cushion, little uh, uh, pocket there, satin, satin ice pocket there. I think it's really, really cute, isn't it? Let me just measure how big this is, because normally the measurements come up on the side, don't they, there? So, uh, this way across, 12 and a half inches, which is 32 centimetres. This way across, uh, nine and a half uh, inches, which is uh, 25 centimetres. And the depth... Seven and a half inches, just under 20 centimetres. That's a good size, isn't it, for, for £32.95. pence. Now, I've seen these for sale elsewhere, and they weren't £32.95, pence. I'm telling you that much. I just think that's really, really good, isn't it? Really good quality. Fabulous as a gift, or just fabulous for you. I just think that's so nice. If you, oh, if you go to lessons, pop all the... Because sometimes, if you've got a workroom in your craft room in your house, you've got everything set up, and you go for lessons or take lessons... Then take this with you, with all, the, uh, with all your goodies in there. That'd be fantastic. 
32 pounds and 95 pence. Now, if that one's too big for you, so that was the large, wasn't it, this one? This one must be the small. It's cute, isn't it? Cute as a button. Well, that's funny, because there's buttons on it. Um, it's the same design. Same design. 18 pounds and 95 pence. It's the small sewing <laughs> I really apologise. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's because I'm hungry, I think. Uh, not angry, not angry, hungry. Um, anyway, same design, same design. <laughs> Raffia string, magnetic uh, uh, opening there. There we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't make me laugh. Please don't make me laugh. Uh, <laughs> You should see everybody chase on the floor, giggling, right? And I've got no idea why. I've got no idea why. You do know the new management are watching us, don't you? New managers are watching. Oh, the last one had the sachet as well. You get the sachet with it as well. Um, it, it's only silicon. It's silicon to keep the, you know, the damp off, isn't it, when it's been shipped? Oh, now, Hannah's giving us a little tip here now. It says throw away. But H H Hannah's saying... Um, do not eat, it says. Well, anyway, um, she said if you drop your uh, phone in some water, apparently they're really good. But I thought, uh, someone said to me, if you just put your phone in rice, if you drop it in water. That's weird, isn't it? Anyway, uh, cute little box, £18.95. Moving on. I'm never so sorry. I'm, I'll, I'll be sensible. I'll grow, I'll be, you know, I'm 39 years old, for goodness sake, nearly. Uh, this is cute. This little scissor... Um, this is great as a gift, because you get the scissors in here as well. And they've got cute... Look at them, aren't they lovely? £25.95. and pence. This is the hobby gift, scissors in a case. Contemporary notions. £25.95. and pence. Get the scissors as well. well. I can feel... I can feel they're sharp. They'd be like, now the thing is, right, this is a good question, right? This is a good question. Um, Ginger Mike has just said, well, are they fabric scissors or are they paper scissors? They all start off as fabric scissors, right? And then if you choose to use them on paper, they, they will lose their sharpness to cut fabric. That's why we say never, ever mix your cutting shears and cut paper with them, because paper blunts the scissors slightly. So they all, they all start off like the same, at the same sharpness. Um, Twenty-five ninety-five. I'll put that one on that side. Now I've got a little uh, bundle, a little kit, have I now? Well, not a kit. Have a look at the steel while I arrange them. There we go. What we've got here, it's like a little starter kit, but if you buy somebody, say you bought somebody that little um, Notions box, right? And then you wanted to put something else in it. Well, this little kit, you could put this little kit in it, couldn't you? You get all five pieces. All five pieces for £15.45. So if you bought the small sewing box for £18.95, bought this for £15.45, that'd make a lovely present, wouldn't it? What do you get in the... In, what do you get in the... Uh, right, OK. I could hold this one up, but it's, I'll take it out of the packet because it's breaking. You've got the uh, retractable... No, what do they call this? Yes, yeah, a tape measure, but what's it called? What is that? Retractable, that's right, yeah, that's right. Uh, Rebecca Reed, she loves these. She makes cases for hers. She makes little cases for hers. So you get that. You get the seam ripper. Janice, now, so Rebecca, that would be, so these could be for each people, couldn't they? That could be Rebecca Reed. This could be Janice. Anything could happen, Hobbs. I believe she was in over the weekend. Oh, no, not the weekend. Yesterday, yesterday. I keep thinking it's Monday because I've been off. Um, oh, camera moved then. Uh, that, so that, you get, you get the tape measure, and you get the seam ripper, and you get the dressmaking pins. Now, we give these to Jo Carter, because she doesn't use pins enough. So we give these to Jo. Dressmaking pins. So you get the uh, retractable uh, tape measure, you get the seam ripper, you get the pins, dressmaking pins then. Uh, then you also get the needles, the hand needles, where well, this could be... 
Uh, Jennifer Taylor, these would be for, because she shows on the adverts how to do all the different... Um, now, these are sharps. These are slightly longer. You have sharps and betweens. These are the slightly longer hand needles, these. Sizes 5 to 10. Look, you've got different size needles there. So you get the retractable tape measure, you get the seam ripper, you get the pins, and you get the needles. But then we haven't finished them. We haven't finished them. You then get gold-coloured little snippy scissors. Premium embroidery scissors. They're two and a half inches, 6.7 centimetres. Rose gold coloured. So you get one, two, three, four, five. So like they're three pounds. Each thing is three pounds. No, three pounds. And what, nine P each? That doesn't sound right, does it? It's brilliant. So you get, so if, say you've bought... The jewellery box, uh, the, the, the um, sewing box. Large, this one is. Obviously, when you're using them, you'll take them out of the packets. But if you give it as a gift... Yes, yeah, like, it's like when you give a purse, isn't it? You have to put money in it. Tradition says you have to put money in it. This is a new tradition. When you buy a sewing box with a lovely sturdy um, tray... There you go. There you go. So the sewing box, thirty-two ninety-five. All the little kits go in there, fifteen pounds and forty-five pence. Brilliant. Just put this to one side. Oh, I could just. Oh, I could have just done that, but never mind. Too late now. Remember, get any messages in. If you want any messages for me, let me. I'm not in all weekend. I just suddenly realised I've just come in for the one day. Back in on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, though. Right. Threads and thread holders. This is Fenton House. Yeah, see. I know my threads now. I know my threads, just don't know how to open them. Oh, they're there. So. These are gorgeous colours. These, Fenton House is like a National, National Trust house or one, one of those... Um, Others are available, I'm not sure if it's National Trust. But aren't they lovely? They're like the paint colours you can get from that very posh paint company. Yes. £8.95. pence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven threads. White, red, amethyst. Oh, I was going to say aquamarine, but there's a certain aquamarine that's that colour, isn't there? I want to say peruna, but that's not right, isn't it? No. Uh, then we've got the green. Uh, the, I wouldn't say that was emerald. That's tourmaline green, pink tourmaline, and then sapphire. Lovely. £8.95. Oh, I'll just, just shut that one up. Jay can do that one later. So that could also go in there as a gift, couldn't it? You see, there's so many things that you can mix and match if you are going to go. Now, this. Everybody loves these. Everybody loves these. It's a good storage box. Good quality plastic. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, 18 holes. No, not holes. That's golf, isn't it? <laughs> 18 spools at five pounds and 45 pence. Uh, made by Guterman, so you know your Guterman threads are gonna fit in there nicely. Really good quality plastic, they're stackable. Put your threads in there, you can see them. Wherever you are in the workroom, you can see those, can't you? At five pounds and 45 pence. Okay. So now, oh, okay, somebody's asked why the sewing machine's here. I'm not going to do any sewing, not today, but it's a bundle we're doing, so I'll tell you all about that in a minute. When I've done this, oh, I've not seen this one before. Oh, this is nice. It's a soft tote bag. Now I was looking at how big he was. Brilliant for, you know what, the thing is, we're saying good for sewing classes, it's good to go to the beach with this. Because if you love your, your, your notions, it doesn't have to be used for threads. Oh, I like that big, look at that fan pocket on the front there. It's like knife pleated. Well, that's a box pleat at the front there. Very, very limited, this one. 
25 pounds and 95 pence. It's really lovely. And so, do you know what? If you're going on your holiday, oh, I suppose you'd have to fold it that way. Look how flat that's going to go in your suitcase. And you've got a lovely beach bag if you are there. Or if you go to classes, there's a big pocket inside. Don't know if you can see that, sorry. Big pocket inside there. Love the polka dot in lining. It's like a bright coral lining there. And the fabric's so cute, isn't it? Let's just have a look at it. You've got threads, you've got scissors, you've got the... Oh, look, there's a retractable tape measure. I need the pin. There's the scissors. There... Oh, that's a crochet hook, not a quick unpick. There must be a quick unpick on here somewhere. It's lovely, isn't it? Really, really... What's that big one there, then? It says, happiness is handmade. Oh, it's wool. It's a ball of wool. Knitting needles. Button. Thimble. It's gorgeous. A little crochet hook there. I wonder if we're going to do crochet as well. Anyway, oh, there's the pins. There's pins. £25.95. So you look perfect. Next. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have enough room on the table at this side. Right, move on. Oh, good. Lots of bags for you. Lots of bags. I like this one. I like the wooden handles on this one. Now, we, I've had this before and I went, oh, look, they've not put the zip in right, have they? It's all sticking out one end. That's apparently. So when you zip it up, because this is lovely, right? What normally is you, you hold that end and you can, oh, you can zip up like that by holding this end in place. Nice, isn't it? 18 pounds and 99 pence. So you can use it. It's called a craft bag, isn't it? This one, Notions craft bag. You could use that for whatever you wanted, really, couldn't you? I think that's really cute. Not too big either, is it? Not going to be too heavy. Oh, excuse me, one touch fastening. Big pocket on the front there. Binding around the openings there, the same colour as the zip. Nice big sturdy zip as well, isn't it? How much is it? 18.99. So you could get the whole, you get a whole, everything you could have would all, all um, mix and match. Hello, John, can you show me the big sewing box, please, from Jill? Of course I can, Jill. Oh, now she tells me. Um, all of these sewing range uh, um, pieces, they're all, when it's gone, it's gone. We're not getting it in anymore. We, we either can't or... And that was the first time I've seen that soft tote bag. And when they're gone, they're gone. And that soft tote bag was um, limited, limited. Natasha's obviously sold them all, hasn't she? Anyway, who wants to see this Jill in Greater Manchester? OK. So you've got the uh, fastening there, Jill. Uh, it's a magnetic fastening. Lovely, good quality, solid tray. And then look at the depth. I'll just take that out because Michael doesn't like to see that. Depth in there is fantastic. And also, what is lovely is it's lightweight, right? So it's not already heavy. You know when you see those lovely designer suitcases and um, they're heavy before you even put anything in them. This is light as a feather, as, uh, whatever a feather weighs. Um, got your pin cushion there. Got your little elasticated uh, pocket there for anything. I think that's lovely for £32.95. Margaret, love the show. Great to see John Corpse. When did I corpse, Margaret? In Cambridgeshire. I know. I don't know what set me off. You're going to do it again now. It's going to start again now. And I've got no idea. I must be tired. <laughs> Let's move on. I don't know. The thing is, I wouldn't mind if... <laughs> If there was something funny. But I don't know what is Margaret. Thank you, setting me off again. <sighs> now this... <laughs> I do apologise. I'm going to get into so much trouble as well. It's Friday, isn't it? All the management are in there watching. Um, this could be used as... Act when I worked on films, the makeup girls used to have bags like this. Because you, what you do is you get the actors ready in the morning, they get them, their, their makeup done when we're on location. And they get them on, ready on the makeup bus. We get them ready in their Winnie Bay goes and things like that. And then we'd have to go to the set and you keep an eye on them for continuity and things like that. And, and makeup, the makeup girls would have a bag like this. The wardrobe, I had a fishing box because then you could sit on it, you see. Um, I had a lovely big green fishing box with all my kit in it. But the makeup girls used to arrive with this and they'd have their brushes in one and their 
They don't call them powder puffs anymore, do they? Whatever their powder thingies are now. And then, uh, all, all, look at that. Brushes in there. there. Oh, right. Right, now, remember I just said to you, all this range is, when it's gone, it's gone. How many, Hannah? Less than 10. Less than 10 of these. And when they're gone, they're gone. We won't be bringing them back at all. Won't be bringing them back at all. This one, this one looks like the other. But um, it's like a PVC finish, that one, isn't it? Julie in Cheshire says, you're right with the rice. My phone went through the washing machine, put it in rice, it's all OK now. That's Julie in Cheshire. That's nice, isn't it? Why would you put it in the washing machine? Matt's like me with this. This, this um, glasses holder goes through the washing machine nearly every day. Uh, anyway, it's got the zip at the top. Remember, I'm down to single figures on this one. Single figures. Zip on the top there. And this has got the white cleanable uh, surface. Just think it's brilliant. Also, if you took that one out, if you're going to lessons and took that in the rain, everything inside's going to be fine, isn't it? I'm not going to say it's fully waterproof, but it's going to be de definitely showerproof, isn't it, that one? Remember, when this range is gone, it's gone, that's it. That's it, we're not doing it again. Right. Here we go. What are you talking about now, Hannah? Oh, yes, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, right. This is a fat quarter bag. When uh, Haley and I went to that uh, craft fair, I saw these hanging on one of the store, not craft fair, sewing thing at NEC. And, oh, by the way, have any of you gone to the quilt? What's it, the world, what's it called? Oh, it's a big posh quilting. It's what? Festival of Quilts, that's it, the NEC. I'll be there. I'll be there. Not every day, but I'll be there. I'm going to be there. Definitely there on the Sunday. I think it's August the 13th, the Sunday, isn't it? Get it. Jay will be there some days as well. Anyway, won't you, Jay? No, you don't get paid extra for it. You just turn up for the love of it. <gasps> these youngsters these days. Anyway, this is lovely. So it's a fat quarter bag. It matches with all the rest of the... Um, so you could have a sewing box, a carrier bag. Not a carrier bag, you know, a craft bag. And a fat quarter bag. All together, this is £14.95. This is PVC as well. This is the PVC as well. But it's brilliant because it's got the um, see-through on this side, doesn't it? So you can see your fat quarters in there. Then you've also got these, which are uh, room dividers. No, not room dividers. That's taking me back to 1974, hasn't it? But you see, you can put those in. Do what? No, a room, do you not know what a room divider is, Hannah? What? A what? No. So I think a room divider. Oh, you mean like a concertina door? Oh, no, I thought a room divider was something with shelves, straws at the bottom, and then shelves put plants and books on them and things. So you can still see through to the other side of the room. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, we're not, doing, we're not selling room dividers. We're selling fat quarter bags at £14.95. I just have to have some fat quarters here, look. So you see, you can keep your fat quarters in here. I won't put that. I'll take that divider out there. Lovely gift, another, another, another lovely gift. And when you've opened them, I suppose what you could do is you could, in the, um, you could um, put the folded open, what, the ones that haven't been um, used back in there. I think that's brilliant. Again, it's got the same lining, see? All, when they're gone, they're gone, these. When they're gone, they're all gone. I'll just sip this here up. Of course, if you want to see, if I'm going too fast for you, just let me know. Oh, Susan. Hello, John. The long zip is that you can fully open the bag there is a box pleat, so you need the extra length. Where's the wooden hand? Oh, there it is at the front. Oh, I see. So was it Susan? You've taken it away from me. Yeah, so if, you, if the zip just went to the end there, would only open that far. So when you open it all the way to the end, you see, it opens right the way out. Oh, Susan, that was brilliant. I didn't even know that. It's the end of the range. I oh, know. Right, so I'll put that one back there. Look, it's like, um, it's like Christmas morning, isn't it? Uh, right, you know. Right, OK, I've got four... Uh, no, I've got three lots of... Um, oh, these, these, I love these. Oh, have we indeed? 
Jay, we've got these open somewhere, haven't we, to look at the colours of them. But these are fat quarters, two Amalfi fat quarter bundles, pink and uh, navy. What it is... Sorry, he's gone off to find it. Oh, it's incredibly limited. It's incredibly limited. I'll see if he's got the open one. Um, what you get is you get the same pattern in each of them, but in different colours. So you get the lovely ditzy one at the top. He's a John Loudon, remember? Then you get the lovely... Oh, they're all ditzy fabrics, aren't they? Then you get the, well, I call that one Laura Ashley, but obviously other designs are available. Then you get that really cute one. That's like that, that, that embroidery um, transfer from earlier. And then that one, the, oh, I can show you that one at the bottom. Lovely period paisley. Now you get that and, is that right? And you get this one for 19 95 You get both of them. This is the pink one. That's brilliant. Okay, if you want that, you need to be quick. It's single figures, that's all I've got. Single figures that I've got. Do you know what? I, that's a brilliant price. Because I thought that would be 19 95 for one, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? No? 19 95 for both of those. For both those. So, how, so you're getting one, two, three, four, five fat quarters in each one. So that's 10 fat quarters in total. How many metres is that then, Timothy? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Hannah's going, five metres, not five metres. One, that's one metre, two metres, two and a half metres you get in total. For 19 pounds and that. They're brilliant. When Jay brings me the, um, the, the thing, I'll, I'll open that up for you. I'll open, uh, no, I won't open that up for you. I'll, I'll show you the different patterns in there. <gasps> Basket's already on that one. I might not have time to show you the inside of that one. Might not have time to show you the inside of that one. Right, next. Yeah, I've got three more fat quarters here. I don't know which one to show you first. They're all lovely. Right, okay, I'll show you this one first. This is like polka dot, grey polka dot background with pink roses on it. And then look at this. You get the planes, the plain pa baby blue, the pa plain, of course, nothing plain really, coral. You get the fantastic blender white in there. And you get that lovely, like, sorrel green. And, oh, you get two of the floral ones. So you get two of the... Oh, that's a lot. Two of the floral ones. Then you get the blue, the coral, the white, the green. That's lovely. £14.95. I'll get Jay to get you that one open as well. How many of these have I got? See, there's not many of any of these. And I presume this is when it's gone, it's gone as well, won't it be? This will be when it's gone, it's gone as well. Beautiful bloom, it's called. Six pieces in there for £14.95. That's brilliant how they all go together. The sorrel green, the baby blue. I like that. I like, would you call it sorrel? I'm calling it sorrel, but is it more of a sage? Moss. It's lovely, isn't it? OK, moving on, moving on, moving on. I'll wait for Jay. To, I won't open any of these, so I'll wait for Jay to bring... Um, the open ones for you. Oh, this is nice as well. Right. Is this, is this end, when it's gone, it's gone as well? Oh, we'll just have to double check this one. Right. So what you get is you get the floral print in the purple. You get the floral print in the pinks and blues. And then inside, look, you get that lovely... Well, it's kind of... Uh, well, to me, it looks like a crushed raspberry. Then you get the amethyst purple. Then you've got that, that like pale plum, maybe damson colour. Then you've got the blue, the, the Air Force blue colour. I think that's a lovely, that's a very classy, the colours in there are very classy and elegant, aren't they? Again, you get six fat quarters for £14 and 95 pence. They're called berries, those, for some reason. I think it's the colours, isn't it, the, the berries that you get there. And then... Last but not least, in the fat quarter section, this is all. This has been so popular. These are like roses with scissors. Roses with scissors, right? It's called rose bouquet. This one, but then look, it's teamed with dots. Little purple polka dot. Then you've got the purple version of the. Um, Purple version of the floral version there. Pink polka dots. 
pink polka dots. Then you've got the bright reds and pinks in there. These are lovely. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to open this one. How many of these have I got? Oh, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do it gently. I'll do it gently. Oh, no, it's got a great big knot in it. I was going to do it nice and gently. I will, though, because these are worth looking at. These, they're so beautiful. So, there's the floral in the pink and yellow. There, look at that. There's the floral in the red and purple. Oh, aren't they lovely? And then here's the other floral. Oh, no, hang on, that's the same as that one, sorry. My bad. Then you've also got <laughs> purple and pink and purple. When it's gone, it's gone. Single figures. 14.95. I think that's beautiful. I'll just put it together, back together again neatly. Right. Somebody wants to see the Amalfi ones again. The, I'm surprised these haven't all flown out the door. I am surprised these haven't flown. I thought one of these would have been 1995. You're getting both of them. When it's gone, it's gone. We will not be bringing this back. Oh, OK. More people have got these in their baskets than we've actually got. So you need to check out your baskets immediately. Please. Oh, I don't want people missing out that they did earlier on Jennifer's book. 100% cotton, five-piece bundle, each piece 50 by 52 centimetres. Warm machine wash, do not tumble dry. Um, you get five in each bundle. Five in each bundle. These are the pink ones. These are the navy ones. You get the same patterns in both, just in the... Uh, wouldn't that make a lovely quilt? Those two together make a lovely quilt. And then you get a blender, like a biscuit-coloured blender. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Oh, they're going to go. That's going to go. By the end of the hour, that's definitely going to have gone. The berries one. Oh, no. This is in single figures, this one. This one's in single figures. Not coming back. Not coming back, remember. They're beautiful colours. They're elegant. They're sophisticated. They're stylish colours, aren't they? Oh, someone's on the phone. It's not coming back, though. Not coming back. I love the floral. Love the floral on each side. That's the brighter floral. And then that's the more per lovely. £14.95. It is when it's gone, it's gone. Remember, when it's gone, it's gone. OK, what have I got now? Books? Some books? Oh, dear, I need Jay to come and tidy up for me, I think, a bit. No, look. Books now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I love all these, but I haven't seen that one before, but I love these three. Right. Where shall I start? Where, Hannah, you tell me which to start on. 50 fat quarters, small fabrics, big ideas. Oh, I've finished on those now, Joe. They're sold out. But did you get me those and those as well? No, don't worry, don't worry. Leave them, leave them on the table there, Joe. Right, fat quarters, small projects. More than 50 big ideas. You see this here? You see him there? He, that, that comes out, that wor wormy caterpillar comes out of the apple. I love this book, £14.95. Because you've all got fat quarters, haven't they? Everybody's got fat quarters. Apart from Jay, has got a fat belly. But that's another thing. Uh, he's going mad now because he's losing so much weight. Now he's in love. Uh, so here we go. These are all the different um, techniques and everything they're showing here. But then look. They put them into sections. Babies and children. Reversible apron for a child. From fat quarters. Tells you how many fat quarters you need. That needs two fat quarters, that. Two fat quarters, that's all you need for that one. It's cute, isn't it? Lovely pictures. Uh, toddler sheets. What do you need? Well, they must be very small. Oh, no, it must just be the plique at the top, must it? Four fat quarters. Travel pillow. Three fat quarters. Oh, the party hats. Did I miss a page? Or miss two pages? I think this is brilliant. I think this is just brilliant. Look, tote bag, party hats. There you go, six fat quarters you need for those party hats. I've never seen fabric uh, party hats before. Lucy Brennan. Oh, look, I can see why she loves this. Three fat quarters to make that little, uh, little girl's dress there. How cute. Then three fat quarters. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is the toy apple with the worm in it. Look. And that worm comes in and out. 
Isn't that cute? Michael likes that. Director Michael likes that one. Uh, floppy Animal Friends. They're lovely, aren't they? You know, these would be good projects to start with your, um, with children to start sewing, wouldn't it? Soft shaped toys and pouch. Diaper holder. Ooh. And burp cloth. I think that means, oh yes, I know what that means. Mushroom tote. Oh, I love this. Wait till you turn, look at this. Look at that good. Oh, you see, Hannah could make that to put her potatoes in, couldn't she? You haven't made, you haven't made your potato bag, haven't you? You've been talking about it for months. Ba I've been quite busy, she's on holiday. Baby food jar bib. Oh no, you put the jar in there. Oh, it's a picture of a jar. Oh, honestly, I'm getting a uh, travel placemat. Oh, it rolls up, look and ties up. That's brilliant, isn't it? Three fat quarters. Now, now we're on to bags now. First aid kit bag. Cool tablet case. That's not the, ta the tablet that's cool. It's just, you know, cool as in sick, as they say these days. Uh, boho bag. Oh, that's nice. Um, library tote. Oh, we've made this one. Oh, no, 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 we haven't. That's a different one. <clears throat> there we go. That's the one we've made. Uh, lovely uh, Jess. Was it Jess? Yeah, Jess, one of our new designers. She made that one. Um, oval pocket handbags. Oh, they're pockets on the front. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, pieced pocket tote. Oh, there's loads going on in here, isn't there? Sunglasses pouch. Oh, now I've got to mention Nicola. Good morning, John. So fantastic to see you today. Thank you, um, uh, Nicola. Please, would it be possible to see the... I haven't got an Amy Butler fat quarter. I'll open them up for you, though. It must be... Must be that one and that one she's thinking of, is it? I don't know. They're not Amy Butler, though. I'll open them up for you. They're so easy. I'll open them up for you in a second. Because those, they've gone. The John Loudon ones, I presume, have gone now, have they? We'll just double-check that. I've got a message Karen. Having fun watching John. Oh, are you? Thank you. Uh, whilst making some Dorset buttons, managed to get the double fat quarters and Jennifer's book. Very happy. Oh, well done, Karen. Karen, what's a... What did we just say? A Dorset button. I don't know what a Dorset button is. Is it like a Suffolk puff? I don't know what a Dorset... Is it, do you eat it, a Dorset button? I'm hungry now as well. Oh, we've only got 20... I haven't, what have you got to eat, though? What day is it? Oh, no, I've got, I've got to rush off. No, you know. uh, arrowhead clutch bag. Hang on, we haven't done the glasses case. I will, I will finish the... Oh, flying geese. I think they do a skirt like that as well, don't they? Lunch sack and set. Oh, look, you see one to food again. Quilts and pillows. Oh, nice. 20 fat quarters to do that. Well, obviously, you need 20 fat quarters to do that. Uh, pillow set. Hot house pillow set. Oh, no, we made this one. I made that one with Lucy. Starburst pillow cover. We've made that one. Uh, striped, stripes pillow. Uh, all my heart mini quilts. Oh, they're nice. That's like a table mat, isn't it? Uh, crossroad lap quilt. Like that one. Oh, yes, we like that one. Poof. Oh, no, tree trunk cushion. Patchwork picnic blanket. Oh, that wouldn't be big enough for my picnics. Oh, 35 fat quarters. Maybe it's bigger than it looks. Uh, cottage footstool. Oh, that's nice. Uh, hoop tree. Oh, now look, that's like we were just showing with the hoops that we were selling earlier. And then, like, we've done on our wall here with the hoops on there. Uh, birds, uh, fabric birds. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? How many fat quarters do you need to do that? I suppose it depends how many birds you make, doesn't it? Three fat quarters for that one. Chevron curtains. I used to go to college with a girl called Chevron. Uh, cheese coaster set. No, cheers, not cheese. <laughs> I, really, I really should be at home. Wearables, infinity cowl. Janice has made one of those. Funky scrunchie and headband. Hannah wears those all the time. There's the flying geese a rainbow chevron skirt. Ruffle embellished sweater. Oh, there's some nice buttons. Embroidered buttons. Maybe that's what Dorset buttons are that Karen's making. Actually, 
She lives in East Sussex, so why is she making Dorset buttons? Anyway, patchwork tie. Are you allowed to see things about the counties? Fruit pop tea towel. Oh, that's nice, the lollipops. Oh, nice. what's that one there then? Patchwork sewing machine cover. Oh, that's a good one. From Fat Quarter. Oh, to talk about that, I could cover my sewing machine with it. I'll do that now, I'll do that now. Um, Oh, God, how am I going to get through all these books and this then? Fat quarters, small fabrics, more than 50 big ideas. Get that, 14 95 That's fantastic. Before we go on to the next book, I need to talk to you about this very quickly. Is that all right? Very, very limited now. Very, very, very limited. This is the... Oh, hang on, Jay. Put the catalogue underneath that. Not the catalogue brochure. What this is... Uh, we'll show the slide. We'll show the slide. Uh, today, and today only... Uh, if you buy the Elna 540, we will throw in a free copy of Jamington's book, which sold out earlier, which completely sold out earlier. We've got very, very, very limited range now. Very, very limited in this. This sewing machine was Jennifer's sewing machine of choice for her show this morning. Does so many things. It's the brilliant, the best thing to do if you want to know about it. You get this little um, box with all the goodies in there. You do get bobbins, you do get needles, <clears throat> you get all the different feet, you get the seam ripper, you get the buttonhole um, um, device and everything like that, buttonhole foot and everything. The best thing to do is if you go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com, click on shop, then when you click on shop, it all the different categories come down. You can just click on um, sewing machines. And then it'll show you the four or five showing, mach showing machines that we do do sell. And just look that up, and it has all the details on there. It is fantastic. You still only pay £2.95 for post and packaging. Um, right. Um, how am I going to say this now? I'll tell you. Two people have got it in their basket. If those two people check out, there's only one left. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's that limited now, that limited. If you've got this in your basket please, and you want it, please, I'm not adding any undue pressure. I just want to say, uh, if you need a sewing machine, don't buy a sewing machine for the standard you're at right now. Buy it for the next day, John, the one you aspire to be. It has the most incredible uh, booklet of instructions. Not only how to set it up, but how to do different stitches. And you see this, right? Let me show you. On a stitch here, like this one that um, Jennifer opened earlier. Darning stitch, right? Tells you what number to have your setting on, what needles to have, what foot to have on, everything, everything, everything you need to know. So it's £449 to get the sewing machine, which is normally £449, but today we're throwing in a copy of Jennifer's book as well. Right, now, which, oh, shall I open these fat quarters then for... Um... Yeah. OK, the soft tote bag... How many? Right. When I, say, when I say less than 10, I mean less than six. I mean less than six of these now. And, of course, with this, with this collection, when they've gone, they've gone. We're not getting them again. We're not getting them again. Right, let's have a quick look at these then. Somebody asked me to open up the... Um... Here we go. You get the two florals. You're very loud, you two, chatting there. You get two florals... The chatting? Jay, isn't it? You're still under probation, Jay? No, no, I don't mean, I don't mean as in probation with the police. I mean probation as in here. <laughs> Poor old Jay. You won't get a job anywhere else. Look at the colours! I can see why you... Oh, you wanted me to open them up. They wanted me to open them up, didn't they? Not just put them out. There is a same, yeah, similar... Not see me. Similar Amy Butler, that we haven't got any more, I don't think. There you go. They're the florals. I'll, I'll do the other one as well for you in a minute. I'll do the other one for you in a minute. £14.95. You do get six fat quarters. You get two of those. The baby blue, the sage green, the white and the coral. I know. Beautiful, aren't they? They're so easy, made by so easy, those. And then I'll just quickly uh, open that. That was the, um, that one open. And then they wanted to see the other flower one open very quickly. It has to be quick now. It's weird, isn't it? You, you think, oh, I've got plenty of time. Then suddenly the hour's up. Jay's going to have a lot of folding up to do today, isn't he? The berries one. Oh, what? There's only eight of these left. There's only eight of these left. Is that if everyone checks out their baskets as well? Oh. 
Right, if everybody who checks out, they've got this in their basket, checks out now, we've got eight left, that's it. Right, so can you get the Air Force Blue? You get the, well, I suppose they're berries, aren't they? I have to think of berries. There's blueberries, damsons, Victoria Plum, raspberry. And then, did you know at Waitrose now, other supermarkets are available, you can buy smashed avocado. Because I always buy avocados, never know if they're the right ripeness or anything. Now they've cut them up and everything for you. <gasps> I know it's outrageous, but I love it. Uh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? These are very sophisticated, these colours, aren't they? Well, that boy on EastEnders, Martin, suddenly appeared with that great big contraption on his arm, didn't he? And in real life, he'd be trying to get the stone out of an avocado and sliced where he shouldn't have sliced. Nice. Love these. Uh, oh, nice, aren't they lovely? I love avocado. So two what? Oh, dear. That'll be, uh, I don't know what that'll be. I was trying to think of something funny then, but couldn't. One of these bundles. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hang on then. Right. Let me put that away for you. Right. What's the matter? Oh, always. There's one of these left. If you want this, you get both of these for 19.95. That's what it is. It's, people aren't checking out the basket. So if you want one of these, you can race in now, get it. 19 pounds and 95 pence. That's brilliant value, that is. Brilliant value. So back to the books. Would you like to choose one now? Pretty little, sewing pretty little things. I've not seen this one before, I don't think. No, I haven't seen this one before. Oh. Part one, bags. New glasses going on. Right, part one, bags. Working girl shoulder bag. That's what it says. Evening bag. Evening all. Drawstring bucket purse. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Drawstring bucket purse. Tells you what, they take all the pictures to start with, see, and what page they're on. So the weekend bag's on page 55. The casual day trip purse is on page 59. Lunch bag, page 62. You don't get the wooden spoons with it. Everything bag. There's loads of projects in here. How much is it? $14.95. Travel purse. Vintage gold clasp purse. We do those. Well, they're out of stock at the moment. We do those um, clasps, clasps even. Uh, clutches and accessories. Compartment clutch. I love this. Classy clutch. Blimey, I haven't even got to the instructions yet. Travel notebook. No. I know, I just said that, Hannah. Gold clasps. And right, instructions. Well, that's a little handy wristlet, that one. Right, instructions. And they are thorough. There, there's the working girl's shoulder bag. What you need. Materials before you begin, cut the following. It's just and look at all the instructions. This is all one bag, right? These are all one bag. These are like Joe Carter instructions, aren't they? They're so thorough with all the pictures there. Then we're on to the evening bag. Evening all. Drawstring bucket purse. You see, look at all the details. Fantastic. What you'll need, how to make it, what to cut out, what not to cut out, what to do, what not to do. That is fantastic, isn't it? Oh, that one's, that one's lovely. That one's even got um, pleats on it, that one. Uh, that, that's what, yeah, exactly. If you go, if you, any of our magazines, you know, like... Um, Simply Sewing or the uh, Quilting Magazine. Quilting Day taking over, isn't it? Um, it looks like our instructions, doesn't it? I wonder if it's been done. Actually, let me see who the publisher is. You see, I wouldn't be at all surprised if it's one. Oh, you get all the patterns. I won't open it. Look at the back there. I thought it was a bit thick, this book. You get all the patterns. 
full size patterns in there. So look, all of them, look at them. Working girl, shoulder bag, evening bag, everything bag, travel purse, they're all there. They're all in there. Oh, that is a brilliant book. All I was looking at, because it does look like one of our magazines, doesn't it? I was just wondering if Ali, you know, lovely Ali with the big hair, whether she, um... oh no, it's not, it's not. Not one of hers. Very clear, very lovely. So that one is called Sewing Pretty Little Things for £14.95. Very popular, that one. It, and, and also, this is what I think is brilliant. How to make small bags and clutches from fabric remnants. So it could be th uh, fabrics you've got in your stash. Fabrics you've already got in your stash. Okay, any more for any more? I love this one. Mini patchwork project. Six sewing patterns for the contemporary crafter. Uh, and I think this is a beautiful book. I've had this one before. Because I looked, when I first looked at it, I was like, $7.95, that can't be right. But look at all the projects in here and look at the beautiful photography as well. Picture garland, number one. All you need, the, tech, the only technique you need for that is a rotary cutter, apparently. Beginner level. Uh, instructions again of everything you need. Reversible trinket bowls. This is a medium experience you need for this one. Uh, I love these. And look at, look at the depth of detail. Aren't they nice? Petal pin cushion. Really beautiful, bright colours. It makes you happy. This kind of book makes you happy, doesn't it? He hexi needle case. Curvy coaster. I just think they're all lovely, these. Uh, natty notebook cover. At $7.95, this is, remember. And then all the techniques that they've mentioned before are all here in the book. And the templates. That's brilliant, isn't it, for £7.95. Uh, moving on. Last book. Last book, and then I'll do a round-up of everything and let you know what's, what's available and still. Uh, pretty Little Patchwork, this is called. Projects, 32 projects in here. 32 different projects in here. £8.95 for 32 projects. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Because you think of all the experience that goes into these. These are all techniques and everything. Look at the beginning. We haven't even got onto the projects yet. Here we go. Household help. A patchworked orange pocket quilt. That'd be good for your sewing room, wouldn't it? S Starlet pin cushion. Like in Hollywood name, that, isn't it? Home Sweet Home Coasters. Hugs and Kisses. Hugs and Kisses, that one. Spiffy Pot Holders. Treehouse Placemats. This is so much going on, isn't there? Spa sachets. Relax after a stressful day with soothing lavender eye pillows that are easy to make and smell heavenly. How much? 27p a project, this is. Outside the box. Living in a box. Uh, hanging with care. Oh, look, they're there. Nice. So they've got little buttons on to put your, to put your skirt loops over. Uh, hold it right there. Oh, we've made this. Who made this? Um, who made this? Tim, who made this? We've got that bag. Was it Ange or was it Lucy? I can't remember now. Was it Joe? No, it was Joe. 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 Perky bird coffee jacket. Oh, that's a good idea, isn't it? Because they don't always have them. When you go to get your takeaway... Oh, sorry. I've just got an itchy face. When you uh, go to get your coffee, they don't always have those little um, cuffs, do they? Or jackets or whatever they're called. You have your own. Woolly tote bag. In the bag. In the bag. Oh, no, it's not right. There's that bag again. Clutch me tightly. What? That's what it's called, isn't it? It is. Clutch me tightly. £8.95. Yoga to go, go. She's ready, isn't she? Handy hook holders. Ooh. Look at all those. Why do you need that many crochet hooks? 
Do you have different crochet hooks of different sizes? I suppose you do, don't you? I'll ask Timothy, he knows. Yeah, you do. Uh, totally cute. Well, they're all, they're all saying, that's me, that's me, that's me. Flare, wearable flare, there's a belt. Oh, now Hannah's got this one. The headband. Belt. No, you, Hannah, you can get a hat like that on top of all your hair. Mine just got new sunglasses. Belt it out. That's me. Flowering scarf. Flowing, even flowing scarf. Too cool cuff. A cuff this cool is twice as nice with a reversible snap that lets you show off your best side. Any way you flip it, this cuff's the stuff. Who did the writing for this? Fantastic idea. Well, that's nice. Uh, eight pounds and nine. Oh, did I say Christmas decorations there? I'm sure I saw Christmas decorations there. Picture perfect. Pillow talk. Pillow talk. One Tree Hill. Oh, I didn't see any Christmas presents. Well, I could have sworn I saw Christmas decorations there. Eight, nine, five. How many projects in Pretty Little Things? <sighs> Oh, I'm going to run out of time while I'm looking. Right. Well, starting with the working girl's shoulder bag, evening bag, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, 16 projects plus also essential techniques. Less than a pound a project, that. 14.95, it's a brilliant book, that one. Uh, and, 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 you get all the patterns at the back. I'm not going to open it, but that, that, it's a big envelope full of all the patterns there at the back. For £14.95. We'll have started sashaying now in my ear. We've had a day of it today, haven't we? Right, OK, let me go through everything. So, you need to check out your baskets if you've got the sewing machine with and the um, Jennifer's book bundle. Uh, it's the Elna 540 sewing machine. And we're throwing in The Girl with a Sewing Machine book by Jennifer Taylor, which sold out earlier, brand new today, and it sold out. So, uh, if you want to see more about the sewing machine, please go to the website, into the shop. Click on that 514, it'll tell you everything that it does. Wait, which one do you want? Oh, yeah, I've got those here, I've got those here, five things, yeah. Sewing basic bundles. Now, you get all of these. If you're setting off, or you know somebody who's setting up their workroom, needles, pins, needles and pins, uh, scissors. What song's that? Needles and pins. Uh. I'm, very, I'm very supple. Mind you, I can't dance quite like Jay can dance. Um, I'll bring him on one day and show you how he dances. Uh, you get all five of these for £15 and 45 pence. The tape measure's come out of its packet. I'll just do like that. There you go. That's probably Rebecca Reed. She loves these tape measures. Oh. Oh, that makes a nice noise, doesn't it? Oh, it didn't do it that time. <laughs> I'm not forcing it, look. Rebecca Reed, you know Mad Mara. Oh, no, I can't call her Mad Rebecca Reed. Crazy Rebecca Reed. Not on air, anyway. Crazy Rebecca Reed. Oh, I've got to go. Have I got a menu for tomorrow? I'm not in tomorrow. I'm not in tomorrow. It's no, I think it must be Natasha tomorrow. Is it Natasha tomorrow? Natasha tomorrow. I'm back on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Natasha's in over the weekend. This is tomorrow. Home sweet home. Cave cushion. Hopstotch quilt. <laughs> Hopscotch quilt. Pom pom cushions and monochromatic mosaic quilt. I'm ever so sorry. They're all saying I've been rubbish today. I do apologise if you think I've been rubbish at home. But then, you see, if I was Jay, I'd be rubbish every day. So now I'm just learning to what it's be like in Jay's world, isn't it? Uh, thanks ever so much for your company. Don't forget to check out your basket for the sewing machine. Don't forget this. It's down, these are all end of range. End of range, not coming back yet. When they're gone, they've gone. And this is down to single, 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 tiny single fingers, less than six of these, which usually means five. A big pocket on the front there. 
Lovely, isn't it? So anything you want, uh, ring the call centre, they'll help you, 800 112 You can go to our website at 12 o'clock, the 8 o'clock show will start again, or you can go and watch on YouTube. All you need to do is, is put in sewing quarter and the date, and you can watch anything you want from when we started, apart from the days when Ginger Mike forgot to press the record button. Um, thanks ever so much. I will see you. Where's your fingers? Come on. I'll see you on uh, Monday morning. Enjoy Natasha over the weekend. See you Monday. Join us on Sunday where our friends at Today's Quilter will be taking over Sewing Quarter. Today's Quilter is the UK's best-selling traditional quilting magazine and it's packed with projects for quilters of all skill levels, in-depth features and interviews with some of your favourite designers. This Sunday, Joy Edgington and new guest Carolyn Forster will bring you a day full of inspiring quilt projects and new techniques for you to learn. Joy will be demonstrating the popular Quilt As You Go kits and guiding you through a ruler's masterclass and Carolyn will be showing you some jelly roll block techniques from her latest books. So join us on Sunday the 28th of May for today's Quilter Takeover Day. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.